Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Shinigami, a double god, younger brother Aizen. Chapter 91, Abandoned Singing, Wrong, Like a Duet. No, using a hado of size 90 or above requires not only superb keto attainments, but also a large enough reyatsu. If an ordinary gote captain gives up chanting, he may not be able to use a hado of size 90. Even if even if it is barely used, it is already considered a great thing to have one-tenth of the power of a complete chant. Aizen looked around and stared at Lan Yan. In his mind, he kept replaying the triple black coffin that Lan Yu had just performed over and over again. Without liberating Zanpakuto, even though my brother has a Reiatsu of 30 chariot kensai, or even higher, five times that of Muguruma kensai, it is not enough to support him in completing the triple black without giving up chanting coffin, and each level of black coffin can retain two-thirds of the power of the full chant. Especially when using it's so effortless. Unless, in addition to the four keto techniques of abandoned chanting, complete chanting, pseudo-duplicate singing, and double chanting, he created a fifth keto technique that has never been seen in soul society. In an instant, Aizen had only seen the 90 black coffin three levels of hado used by Lan Yan once, and he had already figured out the ins and outs, and was sure that his brother had created a method that was better than abandoning chanting, completely chanting, and trying to new techniques for duets and double chants. On the basis of abandoning chanting, using keto number 90 or above can achieve better effects than pseudo-duplicate and double chanting, and the power of each keto will not be weakened, which is very close to complete chanting. Singing, both have two-thirds of the power. I thought I knew you clearly enough, but now it seems that you are still in a fog. Aizen thought to himself. Not long ago, he improved the keto technique of complete chanting and pushed it to a whole new level. If the Spiritual Arts Academy version of full chant brings out 100% of the power of a keto, then the improved full chant pushes the keto, which has already reached 100% power, to an even higher level, high peak value. Achieve 200% effect. Before, he was still looking for an opportunity to show off in front of Lan Yan, but now that he saw Lan Yan's powerful keto technique of abandoning duets, he immediately put an end to this unrealistic desire, idea. Fortunately, I didn't rush to pretend, otherwise I would definitely be slapped in the face by my brother and pretended to be back. Aizen thought happily to himself. Your keto expressed great satisfaction that you allowed him to fight, used him to dance, and used his original abandonment duet technique to defeat Kuchiki Ginling, the strongest Zanpakuto in the flow system, with one blow, so he was gifted he decided to give you the keto forbidden technique golden light spell that he customized for you. Just when King Bai was amazed by his brother's extraordinary keto attainments, Lan Yan also received the keto forbidden technique customized for him by keto. Golden light spell, Hado's attack destroys, Bakudo's defense imprisons. A keto that combines offense and defense. No wonder it's keto forbidden technique. After understanding the ability of Keto Forbidden Technique Golden Light Curse, Lan Yan had to admire that his Keto is really talented. Other Shinigami created Keto or equivalent to the level of Keto produced in the 30s and 40s. Even Shang, with the Kuchiki family's Keto heritage, could only create a Hado comparable to number 80 after more than 50 years of exhaustion. But what about our own Keto? It has only been a few months since I came into contact with Shinigami practice. He has been able to create his own keto technique and his own keto forbidden technique, which is a combination of offense and defense. As for the power, although it has not been used in actual combat, Lan Yan has experienced the quality of keto produced by his own keto more than once. Lan Yan is sure that it will not be worse than keto no. 90. Whether it's attack and destruction, or defense and imprisonment. Brother, you just used Hado's 90-90 black coffin, you must have used your own keto technique. At this time, Aizen walked over in the air. Although he was asking, his tone was full of determination. Um, I created it when I was studying at Spiritual Arts Academy. I call this keto technique a discarded chorus. When Lan Yan heard this, he couldn't help but pull his mind away from keto forbidden technique golden light curse. Faced with the king's inquiry, he did not hide anything. Even if his younger brother wanted to learn, he would not hesitate to teach him. Only, abandoning the duet, it's a very appropriate name. It not only has the advantage of abandoning chanting, but also has the effect of double chanting and pseudo-duplicate singing, and retains the power of close to complete chanting, and is optimized on this basis. 
It is really an amazing keto technique zero. The so-called great keto leader, his keto attainments are just as immature as a babbling baby in front of you. Aizen sighed in admiration, but a hint of pride flashed in his eyes. I will not allow myself to fall behind you. When Lan Yan saw the look in Bai Wang's eyes, he immediately gave up the idea of teaching him to abandon the keto technique of re-singing. Not worried about Aizen surpassing him, which is an impossible thing to happen. After all, my own keto is too talented. No matter how talented Ren Bai Wang is, even if he has one Hogyoku in his hand, he cannot catch up with him. The reason why he doesn't teach is because he knows Aizen's character too well. He seems humble and polite, but in fact he is arrogant and confident. Unless the other party takes the initiative to speak, Lan Yan knows very well that even if he puts a knife to Aizen's neck and forces him to learn, he will not give in. Aizen prefers to learn by himself rather than being taught by him. Especially after seeing him use the technique of abandoning chanting, with his younger brother's self-esteem and arrogance, he would definitely choose to figure out this keto technique by himself. Lan, Yan, suddenly, an inaudible voice, but filled with deep resentment, came from the mouth of a bloody man with only his torso left. Oh, as expected of Captain Silver Bell. I withstood three black coffin attacks from the front, a gravity flow attack that was enough to distort the sky, and even the four bodies were shattered, but still breathing. Lan Yan turned his head slightly and glanced at Kuchiki Yinling, who was covered in plasma and couldn't even stand up. Look at the resentment and anger in the other person's face and eyes that are so strong that they seem to be real. He didn't care about this at all, but was slightly surprised that Kuchiki Yinling couldn't breathe at this moment. Black Coffin, which retains one-third of its power, can make Benkai stronger than Muguruma Kensai with one blow. Conservative estimates suggest that under normal circumstances, at least 12 Rook Kensai, Reiatsu's Komamura Sajin, will be incapacitated in an instant. What about the two-thirds power Black Coffin? And its triple Black Coffin? According to his previous calculations, this blow would be enough to shatter the five bodies of Kuchiki Ginling. Unexpectedly, it only smashed the four bodies of the Kuchiki clan leader, but the head was actually preserved. Aren't these people dead? Tusin Konami looked at Kuchiki Ginling, who had lost his limbs and could not even stand, and was surprised to find that instead of losing signs of life over time, the Reiatsu was slowly improving. Tisk tisk. Suddenly, the remaining body of Kuchiki Ginling spewed out a large amount of white Reiatsu substance. While wrapping the body, the roots of the severed limbs squirmed and grew lizard-like limbs under the influence of these white Reiatsu substances. Interesting, Captain Silver Bell, do you really want to live that much? Not only did he save his life with the power of the hollow, but he was also able to proactively accelerate the progress of the hollow and achieve high-speed regeneration. Is it because of the close relationship between the Kumu family and the royal family? It seems that there are still many secrets about the royal bloodline. Aizen looked at the changes in Kuchiki's silver bell, and while he had a deeper understanding of hollow, he also had a creepy thought. That is to no longer use ordinary shinigami for hollow experiments, but to use the four nobles who have the closest relationship with the royal family and have royal blood flowing in their bodies to conduct hollow experiments. What? Quote, are you interested in the four nobles? Want to use them for hollow experiments? Lan Yan knew what he was thinking as soon as he saw King Bai's expression. That's right, the results of just one hollow of Captain Silver Bell are better than the hollows of thousands of Shinigami. Kuchiki family, it seems we have to go. Aizen did not take the Kuchiki Ginling, who had grown arms and legs and stood up again with the help of hollow, and whose Reiatsu strength had reached a higher level, to talk to himself about going to the Kuchiki family and using the blood of the royal family, people to do the hollow experiment. Then let's go to the Kuchiki family and have a hollow feast. When Lan Yan heard this, he shrugged and said indifferently. The vast majority of Shinigami in Seoul society are essentially dispensable to him. Not to mention the Kuchiki family who already had a hostile relationship with him and participated in the attack on Aizen when he went to the Spiritual Arts Academy. Hateful, Lan Yan, how dare you brothers attack the Kuchiki family? Kuchiki Silver Bell got up from the ground and picked up Zanpakuto again, roaring like a wild beast. Thanks to the deepening of Hollow, he has the ability of high-speed regeneration, and then grew the four bodies that were crushed by Lan Yan, but the price is that he has gradually lost control of Hollow, 
and his mind has begun to be overwhelmed by negative emotions such as madness and killing. It is not far away from losing one's sanity, degenerating into nothingness, and completely going berserk. Why not? Captain Yinling, your naivety is really a bit sorry for your status. You don't think that you, the captain of the 6th Division, are worthy of our personal dispatch, do you? Shang and you, our husband-in-law, are just the beginning. After hearing this, Lan Yan's tone showed the slightest surprise, as if he was surprised that Kuchiki Yinling actually said such childish words. I wasn't the one who attacked your brother. I was just entrusted by someone to test your mettle. The real attackers are not the Kuchiki family. Kuchiki Ginling obviously knows Hollow very well. Of course he also knew that although he had grown arms and legs, and Reiatsu was even better, he couldn't control it. Not only can he not control Hollow's power, he can't even keep his sanity. At this time, he could only try to dispel the Lan Yan brothers' ill will towards the Kuchiki family. Do not do that, Captain Silver Bell. Don't yell like this, you will only lower my opinion of you. Lan Yan shook his head gently to prevent Kuchiki Yinling from showing such an ugly posture. A family should be neat and tidy. You taught us this principle when we two brothers were still studying at the Spiritual Arts Academy. Isn't it, Captain Silver Bell? As soon as he said this, Kuchiki Yinling completely went berserk. Being constantly eroded by the hollow, his little sanity was completely swallowed up by hatred, anger, and murderous intent. Lan Yan, with a murderous roar, Kuchiki's silver bell glowed with a deep yellow color, and its extremely penetrating eyes were no longer conscious, leaving only boundless killing. I saw him holding a knife in one hand, Reiatsu vented wildly, triggering a majestic impact wave, crushing the floors of the penitent's palace layer by layer, and then flying into the sky. Immediately afterwards, he stepped forward, his face already covered by the virtual mask and opened his mouth suddenly, Scarlet light bloomed, and a Reiatsu sphere with extremely dense density condensed instantly, and was about to bombard Lan Yan and the others. It's completely hollowed. Not only high-speed regeneration, but also Sero can be used. Already no different from Mano's Grande, but unfortunately without any sense, he can't even be called a mask, let alone transform into Shinigami and Hollow, becoming a being who possesses the power of Shinigami and Hollow, but is superior to the two. Even if the Gote captain is of royal blood, can he still only do this? Facing the hollow, Aizen remained calm and composed, even his mind and attention were still focused on observing the hollow situation of Kuchiki Ginling. But the more he looked, the more disappointed he became. It is true that the results and benefits brought by the Kuchiki Shinigami hollow experiment are far greater than the results of the Shinigami hollow experiment. But it failed after all. Totally hollow does it. High-speed regeneration does it, even Sero does it. But in his eyes, it was still a failed hollow experiment. As a failure, in that case, Lord Aizen, please let me destroy him. After Tusan Konami heard Aizen's words, he understood what he said and was about to step forward with a sword and cast the barrier of Yama Cricket again. In his opinion, if Kuchiki Ginling was facing hollow and remained rational, he would not be able to take a single blow. But without reason, no matter how powerful you are, you are just a beast. With the Enma cricket that captures the senses of sight, hearing, taste, and Reiatsu, he has the confidence to fight against Kuchiki Ginling. However, Tusan Konami was interrupted by Lan Yan before he could take action. No, since Captain Silver Bell wants to live even if he is completely hollow, then let him continue to live as he wishes. After all, the leader of the Kuchiki clan, the captain of the 6th division, completely hollow, what a precious material this is. It would be such a waste of natural resources to kill him just like that. Lan Yan stopped Tusan Konami with a chuckle. Sir Lan Yan, please forgive me for the offense. Keep Kuchiki's silver bell alive. Aren't you afraid that it will affect our actions? Tusan Konami was worried, fearing that Kuchiki Ginling would recover and testify against them. After all, he had just been taught a lesson by Kuchiki Yinling, and he had a profound understanding of the heritage of the Four Nobles. I am really worried that Soul Society has the technology to reverse and recover Shinigami who was completely hollow and fell into a void. Yes, your worries are meaningless. The process of hollow is irreversible. Captain Silver Bell has completely hollowed and will never be able to recover. What's more, as my brother said, killing him would be a waste of resources. Let him live in this posture. 
Only in this way can Captain Silver Bell help us one last time. Different from Tusan Konami, Aizen instantly understood what Lan Yan meant. Continue to help us. How can a completely hollow and irrational Kuchiki leader help us? Even if he is rational, he will only hate us, right? Although Tusan Konami could not understand Lan Yan's meaning at all, it did not prevent him from carrying out Lan Yan's order and immediately gave up the move of stepping forward with a sword to end Kuchiki Silver Bell. The other side, the Kuchiki Silver Bell, which was completely hollowed, had condensed Saro into shape. But at the moment when Saro was about to be launched, Lan Yan suddenly stepped forward as if teleporting, stretched out his index finger, and pressed against the high-density Reiatsu. Get the terrifying Scarlet Saro. Tisk tisk. Even if Shinigami touches Saro with his body, it will only be scattered into Reiatsu in an instant. But when Lan Yan's index finger touches Saro, the density of this Reiatsu is so high that Saro seems to have misfired and cannot be launched. It also couldn't start an explosion, but took on a spiral shape and kept rushing toward his index finger. In the blink of an eye, Saro, which was enough to reduce most of the penitent's palace to nothing in an instant, was completely absorbed. At this time, Aizen and Tusan Konami discovered that there was a dark Uzumaki only the size of a fingernail suspended on the top of his index finger. Under the cover of night, if you didn't look carefully, you wouldn't notice it at all. It was this black hole the size of a fingernail that swallowed up Saro. Roar, faced with the sudden change, even if she was completely hollow, lost her mind, and only knew killing and destruction, Kuchiki Ginling couldn't help but be slightly startled. He didn't understand why his Saro disappeared. Bakudo 63, Chain Binding, 10 Layers. Lan Yan obviously had no intention of explaining to Kuchiki's silver bell, which was close to Maino's grande. He stretched out his hand and clicked on the opponent's mask. Tisk. In an instant, ten golden Reiatsu chains stretched out from the air, like golden pythons, wrapping the Kuchiki silver bells from head to toe, and tied them into a huge golden rice dumpling. Not to mention swinging the knife, moving, and releasing Saro, he can't even move a finger. Sure enough, abandon chanting, and at the same time use the method of Qian Zhang number. 63. The third level of Kido is not my brother's limit at all. As long as he is willing, even the 90 level black coffin can use the fourth level or even the fifth level. When Aizen saw this scene, his eyes sparkled under the framed mirror. Master Lan Yan, after the Kuchiki silver bell is fully hollowed, the Reiatsu is too high. With only the number 63 Bakudo, even the 10th level can only be sealed for a while. Over time, it will inevitably break free. Tusan Konami Reiatsu's consciousness spread out, and he felt the Reiatsu on Kuchiki Ginling's body that was ten times his own. He was a little worried and couldn't help but give a warning. As a veteran Gote captain, Kuchiki Ginling already has dozens of Chikenshi Reiatsu without liberating Zanpakudo. After the double growth of Bankai and Hollow, it can only be described as terrifying. In his opinion, it is impossible to completely seal the Kuchiki Silver Bell using only Bakudo number. 60. I'm afraid he won't be able to break free. If Captain Ginling is completely imprisoned using two high-level Bakudo, how can he help us? Lan Yan said surprisingly, seeing Tusan Konami stunned and looking puzzled, he did not explain. Anyway, Tusan Konami will be told what happens next. Why, come on, Aizen, go ahead. After imprisoning Kuchiki's silver bell, Lan Yan greeted the two of them, then turned and left. Clang. But just as he turned around and turned his back to Tusan Konami, a Zanpakudo was suddenly placed on the back of his head. Um, Lan Yan paused in his steps and glanced back from the corner of his eye. The one holding the knife was none other than Tusan Konami. Don't move, Lan Yan. Before he could take any action, a cold, warning voice came from a shadow in the Palace of Confession. The words just fell. Aizen actually pulled out the Zanpakudo formed a cross with Tusan Konami's Zanpakudo, and put it on Lan Yan's neck. The sudden and strange change made the atmosphere in the Confession Palace extremely depressing and gloomy. Aizen, when Lan Yan saw this, he frowned slightly and called, Bai Wang, twice, but the other party didn't respond. As if he was no longer his brother, he still held the knife firmly against his neck. Don't waste your energy. Even if you shout your throat out, it won't have any effect. A figure slowly walked out of the darkness. T.R. Under the shining moonlight hanging in the night sky. 
A head of familiar blonde hair and the iconic weird smile were exposed in the air. Hiroko Shinji. After Lan Yan saw clearly that the face of the visitor was actually Hiroko Shinji, his pupils suddenly shrank, as if he had not expected this former captain of the 5th Division who had long been reduced to a lost dog. Yo, long time no see, Lan Yan. No, I should call you the sinner, Lan Yan Sosuke. Hiroko Shinji had a smile on his face, but his tone was cold and biting. It's actually you. Lan Yan's voice revealed surprise. You seem surprised. Too. After all, since the day you took the captain of the 5th Division from me, you have already forgotten about me, Shinigami, who in your eyes is just a defeated dog. Hiroko Shinji is still smiling, but his smile becomes more and more sinister. But I remembered that I should have warned you. I'll keep an eye on you. Until I tear off your brother's disguise. As he spoke, he stretched out two fingers, first pointing at his eyes, and then at Lan Yan. Then what? Lan Yan couldn't help but smile when he heard this. Send to the first team. Let your brothers, Li Jiaohao, submit to the law. What do you think of my proposal? Hiroko Shinji said casually, but his voice was filled with murderous intent that could not be washed away by water from all over the world. How did you find this place? Faced with Hiroko Shinji's ridicule, Lan Yan didn't take it seriously. I have been here since you were in your mother's womb. Hiroko Shinji raised his neck and looked at Lan Yan with a half-smile. He seemed to enjoy this feeling of holding back and resisting once, but his expression turned murderous in the next second. From the moment I learned that Shang was imprisoned, I already knew that it was you two brothers who were behind it again. Thanks to you, a Shinigami who was supposed to have a bright future became a sinner, and Aizen took away his position, just like you took away my elder. But that's right, after all, you and Aizen are brothers. Of course we are both bad blood. It seems that it is not unreasonable for Gote captains to be inferior to each other. A Shinigami with a hundred years of experience. Hiroko Shinji, you haven't learned what politeness is. Faced with Hiroko Shinji's foul language, Lan Yan was not angry, but shook his head. It is true that each generation is not as good as the last. Otherwise, how could bad guys like you brothers have become Gote captain and vice captain? Also, You'd better remember that I am the one in charge of the situation now, not you. Did you see? As long as I wave my finger, you will die immediately under the knife of your own brother. When Hiroko Shinji saw that Lan Yan was still arrogant even before death, he immediately stretched out his index finger. The Zanpakudo hanging on the finger gently swings to the left and right. Clang! Aizen and Tusen Konami's hands holding the knives moved forward, and the two Zanpakudo that had been placed on Lan Shang's neck suddenly pressed against their skin. See this. He seemed to be afraid and did not speak to refute. I have investigated since Shang was imprisoned and sentenced to blood burial. In the half month before the Zanpakudo rebellion, there was a voice circulating in Serai and that was about Shang. Why it all depends on Kuchiki's power what it has been for 50 years, and it can only be a three-seat job, what it is about Kuchiki's loyal dog, these voices mostly come from the place where Shang usually comes and works. In other words, Shang has heard this kind of voice every day since he left the Kuchiki mansion. Coupled with his not-so-great ambition, over time, he will inevitably plant a heart of jealousy, unwillingness, and want to get rid of Kuchiki family, prove your own seeds. Sure enough, in the first team's meeting hall, the seed planted by your brother sprouted, and Shang came to an end under your control. Hiroko Shinji seemed to be very satisfied when he saw that Lan Yan had finally recognized the situation and no longer dared to fight with him. He did not let Aizen and Tusen Konami go any further and directly killed him with a sword. I can't change what happened in the past, but I can in the future. I firmly believe that you brothers have done so many things and are not just focusing on the position of the captain of a special force, so I investigated all of you. From the day you entered Spiritual Arts Academy, where have you been and where have you eaten? What, what things have I experienced? I investigated everything, and finally I discovered an interesting thing. That's why you, who were born as Rukongai commoners, were assassinated not long after you entered school. That's the Spiritual Arts Academy. It's protected by the Kido barrier on weekdays and can come in and out freely. Except for the Gote captain, only those nobles, and still a nobleman with a thousand page points. After discovering Ad Fee, such an interesting thing, I found the corpses of those killers who died in your hands. 
After autopsy, it was found that these were both killers and dead soldiers. It is not possible to raise this batch of Shinigami killers in captivity. What the middle and lower level nobles can do, at least only the upper level nobles have this background. Coupled with the Shang incident, all the clues pushed me to one place. Kuchiki family, Hiroko Shinji seemed to have suffered too much resentment, too much injustice, and too much grievance during this period. The more he spoke, the more excited he became, the more he spoke, the louder his voice became, and the more he spoke, the more angry his tone became. So you have set your sights on Shang and are waiting in the palace of confession. Lan Yan turned his head and glanced at Hiroko Shinji. Good, although I don't know if there will be any harvest, but if I don't come, there will definitely be none. I didn't expect it. After squatting in this confession palace for more than half a month, eating and living with the criminals here, not only did I catch two black-hearted rabbits, but I also got an unexpected harvest. Hiroko Shinji glanced at Kuchiki Yinling, who was tightly tied but still struggling, and then looked at Lan Yan, his eyes sharper than the blade. Sinner, Lan Yan Sosuke, Sinner, Aizen Sosuke, Sinner, Tusen Konami. Set up a trap to frame colleagues, attack the captain of Division 6, conduct hollow experiment. You're breaking the law, you know that. It's still a capital crime. He spoke every word, his tone was extremely cold, and his expression was extremely arrogant. Bang bang. After witnessing Hiroko Shinji perform a Shinigami version of lying on his back, Lan Yan couldn't help but raise his hands, patted them gently, and gave him applause for his outstanding performance. It's really wonderful. It's true that I left your behavior at the door of the 5th Division that day. Hiroko Shinji. Lan Yan's words made Hiroko Shinji's eyes become even colder. This was the last thing he wanted to be mentioned. Not to mention that the person who said this was Lan Yan, whom he hated the most. Do you regret it? That's right. I said, if you don't kill me that day, I will stare at you to death. If you want to blame it, it's because you are too conceited. Being touched by Lan Yan's past shame and the wounds in his heart, Hiroko Shinji suddenly turned the Zanpakuto in his hand. Lan Yan, you are too dangerous. How about this? Lest you do something drastic, I'll cut off your hands first and let Aizen and Tusen Konami do it. Quote. The words just fell. He immediately fully activated Zanpakuto's Benkai ability. The Evil Eight Treasures Plug. Poof. Hiroko Shinji's body trembled violently, then he slowly lowered his head and looked at the blade emerging from his chest. His face was quickly covered in disbelief. This knife looks so familiar. Feeling the pain coming from his chest, he turned his head with some difficulty and looked back. What came into view was a figure who had known each other for hundreds of years, and the knife that impaled him in the other person's hand. They had also known each other for hundreds of years. Because the sword looked exactly like the Zanpakuto twirling on his finger. The Evil Eight Treasure Plug. Why you? It's Shang. No, no, Shang should be dead. Hiroko Shinji spoke intermittently with scarlet blood spilling from the corner of his mouth. Apparently, he recognized it. The person who stabbed him in the back was none other than his Zanpakuto. The Evil Eight Treasures Plug. It is also a reverse caress. Hiroko Shinji. At this time, Lan Yan's voice came from the front. Hiroko Shinji seemed to notice something and suddenly turned around, only to see Aizen and Tusen, who had held Lan Yan's neck with a knife, taking the knife back calmly. How can it be? Obviously you have fallen into my evil eight treasures cold. Forget Lan Yan, he is immune to Muramasa's hypnosis, but your understanding of enemy and companion should have been completely reversed. Lan Yan is no longer your brother in your eyes, nor is he number longer a boss, but an enemy. Seeing this scene, Hiroko Shinji's eyes widened, and the look of shock on his face became even stronger. Since your memory is so good, you can even remember everything that happened at the gate of the 5th Division clearly, so you shouldn't forget a thing. I have never considered you a rival. It didn't happen in the past, it doesn't happen now, and it won't happen in the future. Lan Yan turned his back to Hiroko Shinji, and did not turn around to face him directly. It seemed that the former captain of the 5th Division, his former defeated general, was not worthy of him facing him head on. Impossible. It's obviously Shang He's ability. How so? Hiroko Shinji shook his head repeatedly, his blood-stained face full of expressions of disbelief. Own Zanpakuto Rebellion. He was stabbed in the back by the proud Nyongsi Babasai. 
Faced with the sudden change and the sudden change in the situation, he was completely confused. Just being chopped off from behind by your own Zanpakuto, is this hard for you to accept? Where's your arrogance just now? Where have they all gone? Lan Yan observed Hiroko Shinji's wonderful expression changes with interest. From thinking that he was in control of the victory, giving orders with the attitude of a winner, and then being stabbed in the back by the evil eight treasures sigh, he fell into the abyss. Falling from the top of the mountain to the bottom of the valley. Even if he is as determined as Hiroko Shinji, his mentality is about to explode at this moment. I asked you how could this happen? You are obviously the village leader of Shang, and you too have obviously fallen into my evil eight treasures tomb. Why can't it be affected? Hiroko Shinji suddenly disappeared from the spot, pulled his body out of the Zanpakuto, and landed on the ground ten meters away. I don't know if it's a coincidence. His landing place happened to be next to Kuchiki Ginling, who was imprisoned by Bakudo. I saw clearly the Zanpakuto of the three of you just now in the dark. Zhu Yin, Zanpakuto, the strongest light and dark element. Kyoka Suigetsu, the strongest Zanpakuto in the illusion system. Enma Cricket, Kido Department Zanpakuto. Is it an illusion? No, that is clearly Shanghai's ability. Hiroko Shinji roared repeatedly, his eyes widened and his nerves became dense. Being stabbed in the back by his own Zanpakuto and suffering physical injuries were nothing to him. What really made his mentality explode was that everything that happened in front of him undoubtedly told him that he was being plotted again. After losing his position as captain of the Gote at the gate of the 5th division, he once again fell into the calculations of the Lan Yan brothers. Yes, at this time, although Hiroko Shinji looked hysterical, his mind was running rapidly, filtering his thoughts, and came to a result that he least wanted to see. His secret investigation of the Lan Yan brothers. He spent these days hiding in the Penance Palace. He had just been spying on Brother Lan Yan's abilities in the dark. Everything may have been seen by these two people and they deliberately acquiesced. Didn't you already guess it? Captain Hiroko. Oh, sorry, I forgot that you are no longer the Gote captain. Now you are just a Shinigami who doesn't even have the knitting of Gote 13. Lan Yan looked at Hiroko Shinji with a half smile who had already guessed everything but was still unwilling to admit that this was the truth. What a pity, Hiroko Shinji, it's not you who's keeping an eye on us, but we've been keeping an eye on you. Don't you know, I've seen every move you make and everything you've done these days. I'm right next to you and can see everything clearly. Including your quarrels with Muguruma Kensai and Odoribashi Rojuro, your investigation of us, and your various behaviors curled up in the penitent's palace like a street rat. At the beginning, I was very curious about how far you could go, so I specifically asked Yao, who was also in the Confession Palace, not to kill you so quickly. Otherwise, we would have missed a wonderful event. Big drama. At this time, Aizen, who put the Zanpakuto back into its sheath, gave Hiroko Shinji a stabbing blow. The Sword of Words was more powerful than the stab in the back of Neongsi Babausai. Poof. When Hiroko Shinji heard this, he immediately sprayed out a mouthful of scarlet blood mist, making the nearby air smell a little more breathy. He couldn't help but look at the Kuchiki silver bell tied into a golden rice dumpling by Bakudo at his feet. An idea suddenly occurred in my mind. He just thought he was in control of the situation and acted like the Lan Yan brothers, just like Kuchiki Yinling's previous behavior. Extremely ugly. Ridiculous. Extremely stupid. But I don't know it yet. Lan Yan. Hiroko Shinji roared on the spot, roared several times, and then, regardless of the injury on his chest, he rushed towards Lan Yan and Aizen with a knife. Boom, then, he Shunpo stepped forward, but flew backwards, even skidded, fell to the ground in a panic, and rolled several times. Have you never experienced the power of reverse caress yourself? How does it taste? Can you share it with me? Aizen looked down at Hiroko Shinji. How could he let the former captain of the 5th division die so easily? Just from Spiritual Arts Academy, Hiroko Shinji, in full view of everyone, shouted that sentence from the moment you were no longer in your womb. He had already decided to make Hiroko Shinji's life worse than death. In fact, the script of how to arrange the other party was already written on the same day. Reverse caress, Hiroko Shinji put his hands on the ground and tried to raise his head from the ground, but instead hit his head on the floor. This extremely funny behavior made Lan Yan and the three of them laugh. 
After trying several times in succession, I finally got used to the ability to completely reverse front and rear, up and down, and left and right, and successfully pulled my head up from the ground. He immediately looked at the materialized Zanpakuto Nifu not far away, and also Nifu. It's okay if you don't look at it, but when you look at it, your hands and feet are cold, like falling into an ice cave. I saw that Nifu, who had been with him for hundreds of years, had now walked in front of him and put a knife on his neck. Wrong. Oh oh. Although Muramasa of Hibikiga can trigger a conflict between the Shinigami and Zanpakuto, he cannot control the hypnosis of the materialized Zanpakuto. This is simply not something that Shanghai's Zanpakuto can do. Hiroko Shinji met the inverted eyes, but found that the other person's eyes were dull and lifeless, like a walking corpse. It was completely different from what he knew about the Zanpakuto who were hypnosis ed by Shanghai's Bankai and still had their minds and emotions left. At this time, the ability to control Nifu was more powerful than Muramasa of Shang. He is able to completely ignore Zanpakuto's will and directly make him surrender to the enemy and obey his orders. As expected of you, Hiroko Shinji. After just one look, I have already noticed the difference and gap between Shanghai's Shijung and my demon sword Muramasa. Among the Gotei captains I have met, you are considered a good one, but of course you are only good. Aizen slightly complimented Hiroko Shinji's insight. Compared to many captains in Gotei 13, such as Muguruma Kensai, such as Odoribashi Rojuro, such as Love Ekawa and other Shinigami captains, Hiroko Shinji is undoubtedly outstanding in all aspects. Your Zanpakuto, Kyoka Suigetsu. Wait, isn't your Zanpakuto Kyoka Suigetsu? How did you become the demon sword Muramasa? After Hiroko Shinji noticed that Aizen called his Zanpakuto the demon sword Muramasa instead of Kyoka Suigetsu, his heart suddenly tightened, as if being held tightly by an invisible big hand. A suffocating feeling, like a surging river, flows along the heart and invades the whole body. My Zanpakuto is Kyoka Suigetsu, yes, but I never said that my Zanpakuto is only Kyoka Suigetsu. Aizen met Hiroko Shinji's eyes that were gradually filled with horror, and said unhurriedly, no. Impossible. Hiroko Shinji's pupils suddenly contracted, and then quickly dilated. At the same time, his body sometimes tensed and sometimes twitched. If the feeling of suffocation invaded the whole body before, now it is a bone-deep chill that fills every inch of flesh and blood. Even the blood flowing in the body seemed to be affected. Blood temperature plummets. At this moment, he just woke up. The more you know about the Lan Yan brothers, the more horrifying you feel. Whenever he thought he knew enough about Lan Yan, the cruel truth would immediately tell him that his self-righteous understanding was just the tip of the iceberg. But is just the tip of the iceberg, but it's shocking enough. Do you know why you lost? Do you remember what you just said? You say I'm conceited, but I'm not. The real conceited one is you. Hiroko Shinji. Lan Yan turns his back to Hiroko Shinji. On that day, I made it impossible for you to even use Bankai, Today, why do you think you have won me if you show up again? What makes you have this illusion? What gives you the courage to come to me? Is it because of your Bankai, Neong C8 Treasure Sai? If so, then, the words have not yet finished. He has raised his hand and hovered it in front of him. Kido Forbidden Technique Golden Light Spell. Reiatsu, like golden flames, curled up from Lan Yan's body. Although the coverage area is not large, the light is extremely dazzling, like the brilliance of dawn splitting the night, illuminating the dim confession palace one by one. Immediately afterwards, a giant golden hand reached out from the dazzling golden light, and grabbed Hiroko Shinji's materialized Zanpakuto in the palm of his hand. Then he closed his five fingers and grasped it violently, violent enough to set off a rolling Reiatsu impact. Rushing toward the palm of your hand. No, when Hiroko Shinji saw this scene, he immediately used Shunpo and rushed towards Nifu who was held by the giant golden hand. Although he was stabbed in the back by his own Zanpakuto, he knew very well that it was just because of Aizen hypnosis. As an extension of his own soul, Zanpakuto has been with him for hundreds of years. How could he just let Lan Yan kill Nifu? Click. Accompanied by a creepy sound of cracking silk, he was grabbed by the giant golden hand. The backstroke held in the palm could not withstand the violent force of the rolling tide, and even the air could compress it to the point of collapse visible to the naked eye, and exploded on the spot. Come on. Then, 
the fingers of the giant golden hand opened, and a pile of Zanpakuto fragments lay quietly in the palm of the hand. After doing all this, Hiroko Shinji belatedly flashed in front of the golden giant hand. He looked at Zanpakuto who was shattered into pieces of iron before his eyes. Niwu looked like it was torn apart into pieces. Hiroko Shinji's whole body was stiff, his eyes were dull and dull, as if he couldn't accept the fact that his Zanpakuto was crushed in front of him. After a moment, his dull eyes began to recover, and at the same time, there emerged anger and murderous intent that even Zanpakuto, the strongest of the flowing water system, could not extinguish. Lan Yan, Hiroko Shinji suddenly turned around and roared like a wild beast and rushed towards Lan Yan, but before he could get very far, his vision suddenly brightened. Before he could make any reaction, the one that had just crushed Nifu into pieces Taipian's giant golden hand had already stretched out from behind, grabbing him with lightning speed and holding him in his hand. I'm going to kill you, ah! The roar filled with overwhelming hatred has not yet come down, the golden hand holding him is still tightening, and the majestic force bursts out. Poof! The sound of cracking silk was heard again, similar to when Nifu was crushed. However, Hiroko Shinji was not crushed into dozens of pieces like Nifu. Instead, like a tomato that was stepped on hard, the whole body collapsed and exploded. Then, with bursts of blood mist and blood spraying into the night sky, the whole body collapsed in the palm of his hand. There was no sign of death, only the glistening blood mist could be seen, filling the area near the giant golden hand. Suddenly, the giant golden hand exerted force again and squeezed hard into the palm. Immediately, majestic waves of Reiatsu impact swept in all directions, like a passing typhoon, until they hit the wall of the Palace of Confession a hundred meters away. It had to crack open and be covered with cracks of broken spider webs, and then it gradually subsided. After half a ring, the giant golden hand suspended in midair slowly loosened its clenched fingers, and then the spirit seeds visible to the naked eye rose up from the palm and flew into the sky. Only Hiroko Shinji is missing. Certainly, it's not completely missing. Snap. When the sky was full of spirit seeds, flying in the sky of the Palace of Confession, a head with glaring eyes and an unusually ferocious expression rolled down from the giant golden hand, and finally hit the ground. Just one blow. Nifu was crushed into dozens of pieces and died without any trace of his body. Just one blow. The former captain of the Gotei 5th Division, Hiroko Shinji, was first crushed to death by Lan Yan's Keto Forbidden Technique Golden Light Curse. Then, except for one head, his limbs, torso, muscles, flesh and blood including the neck were barely preserved. Its internal organs and death tyrant costume were all shattered into pieces and scattered throughout the sky. It is quite similar to the Kuchiki Silver Bell not long ago. The four bodies were shattered into souls. But Kuchiki Ginling could barely survive with hollow and high-speed regeneration, but Hiroko Shinji couldn't do it. Even giving him high-speed regeneration and hollow was useless. Except for the head, the whole body is broken into spirit particles. Unless you quickly swallow two Hogyoku before dying, and make Hogyoku surrender and gain full regeneration ability, it will be considered a complete hollow, plus ten times the high speed. Regeneration can only lead to a dead end. Keto other than number 99. Although Tusen has no vision, he relied on the investigation of Reiatsu's perception, combined with the Hado and Bakudo of number 99 he learned from memory, and found that none of them matched the Keto forbidden technique golden light curse used by Lan Yan. Create your own Keto. Sure enough, you have reached this height. There's Bakudo's defense and control, and Hado's attack and destruction. If you are caught, it is equivalent to being imprisoned by a Bakudo of number 90 or above. If you are directly attacked, it is equivalent to being harmed by a Hado of number 90 or above. Aizen gently pushed the framed glasses on the bridge of his nose, and a glimmer of light flashed across his eyes. He saw it. The Keto Forbidden Technique Golden Light spell that Lan Yan just demonstrated, with a random strike, fully demonstrates the power of Hado and Bakudo above the 90th. Homemade Hado. There are many people in Serai You can create your own Keto that combines Bakudo and Hado, and is equivalent to a number 90 or above Bakudo in terms of confinement and defense, and a Keto that is equivalent to a number 90 or above Hado in terms of attack and destruction. Until today, Serite has never existed for thousands of years. Brother, when did you create your own Keto? After Aizen witnessed the power of Keto Forbidden Technique Golden Light Curse, he subconsciously asked Lan Yan. 
As soon as he said these words, he already regretted it a little. What happened next was indeed worthy of the trace of regret in my heart. I created it casually when I was playing the Kuchiki Silver Bell. Lan Yan glanced at the king and acted casually. Aizen said nothing, just showed a polite but regretful smile, and then turned away. Apparently, it was Versailles that arrived. No way, besides liking to play with his enemies and subordinates, he also has a healthy little hobby. That's pretending. Titles such as Hairspray Hand and Shinigami King are not for nothing, nor are they brought by strong winds. On the contrary, what he doesn't like is that there are people who can pretend better than him, and he is still pretended by the other person. If it were anyone else, he could put it back on immediately. However, Lan Yan is not only his brother, but also the one whose Versailles skills are equal to Shinigami's talent. This makes Aizen feel depressed and has no place to express himself. As expected of Master Lan Yan, others are still on the road to cultivating a Kido of size 80, but you have already been able to create a Kido comparable to size 90 or above. You are also the captain of Gote 13. Compared with you, the other captains are like fireflies and bright moons. Perhaps because he has no vision, Tusin Konami does not have the ability to read people's looks. He didn't notice at all that when he said this, Aizen next to him glanced at him without any trace. As if to say, yes, I will remember you. No way. Tusin Konami's words are full of words. Although he didn't mention Aizen Sosuke a word, these words were applied to him and they hit the mark. For example, if others are still cultivating on the 80th Keto path, he happens to be a member of this path. Because in Aizen's understanding, as long as the Hado is below size 90, if the power of abandoning chanting cannot be the same as that of full chanting, then it is not considered to have been practiced, and one has to practice again. And he, Hado under number 90, would only have two-thirds of the power of full chanting if he gave up chanting. Similarly, as the deputy captain and default captain of the Gote, compared with Lan Yan, Aizen happens to be another member of the Fireflies. In terms of Kido skills, Lan Yan created his own abandonment of chanting, and he improved the complete chant. In terms of Kido attainments, Lan Yan's black coffin can hit three or five in one breath, and its power is two-thirds of that of a complete chant, and he there can only be one black coffin, and the power of complete chanting is not as powerful as Lan Yan's abandoned chanting. This comparison, what is it if it is not a firefly? Of course, this is not because Aizen is narrow-minded. If it were normal, Tusin Konami would just laugh it off after hearing what he just said. But unfortunately, he just took the initiative to get in front of Lan Yan and was caught by Version. However, Tusin Konami also made up for it at the right moment. Um, after Versailles in front of the king and smiling at Tusin Konami's rainbow, Lan Yan looked ahead at the Gote team building shrouded in night. There is no need to use Reiatsu senses to explore. Just look with the naked eye. Even if it is covered by night, you can still see figures approaching quickly in the direction of the Palace of Confession. Tisk tisk. Tusin Konami heard the movement around him and immediately turned his head to look around. He saw that one of the golden Reiatsu chains that bound the Kuchiki silver bell had broken into pieces, leaving only nine. And because one of them was lost, the overall imprisonment ability was reduced, and the remaining nine golden Reiatsu chains disintegrated much faster than before. It seems that it's time to draw the curtain on the Palace of Confessions. Lan Yan glanced at Kuchiki Yinling, who was struggling crazily, and then looked away. Next stop, the Kuchiki family. Aizen stretched out his hand and raised an index finger, pointing towards the boundless sky of Soul Society. The fingertips bloomed with curls of cyan brilliance, and then spread out in all directions, covering the Kuchiki silver bell, which struggled frantically and had broken free from three Reiatsu chains, Hiroko Shinji's head that fell not far away, and the three of them. This is the Kido forbidden technique. Space transfer. Tusin Konami's body trembled suddenly. Even if he can't see with the naked eye, he can detect the Kido that Lan Yan is using and the changes around him with just his Reiatsu perception. No, besides, soon, Tusin Konami seemed to notice something, his face changed with horror, and his voice stopped before he finished speaking. It's not that I can't continue talking, but that the time within the range covered by this cyan brilliance has stopped. As a result, his speaking movements and even his thoughts seemed to be frozen. Time, time, stop, stop, Aizen whispered. Although his voice was slowed down a lot, 
he did not stop in time like Tusen Konami. Apparently, a powerful enough Reiatsu, powerful enough to withstand even time being stopped. Call out, from the moment the cyan light spread out, to rising into the sky, tearing a hole into the black curtain above Serite's head, and finally dissipating, the whole process took less than three seconds. When the light dissipated, Serite was once again shrouded in darkness. In the huge confession palace, no matter it was the prisoners who were originally imprisoned in different deep cells, or the guard Shinigami who was swept away by the Reiatsu torrent caused by Kuchiki Silver Bell Bankai, all of them were missing, except Lan Yan San, people. At the same time, disappearing with them were Kuchiki Ginling and Hiroko Shinji, who only had his head left. Boo hoo hoo. As soon as Lan Yan and others took the space transfer and left, ghostly figures rushed to the confession palace one after another. In just a short moment, the place where the battle was fought was already filled with Shinigami figures from different divisions. There are chief officers, deputy captains, and even Gote captains, and there are more than one. Judging from the traces of Reiatsu left at the scene, there are three in total. Captain of the 3rd Division. Odoribashi Rojiro half crouched down, with his fingertips touching the ground. Reiatsu's consciousness spread across the entire penitence palace, and he quickly captured the remaining Reiatsu at the scene. However, when he felt it carefully and compared it, his face suddenly turned gloomy. Hiroko, at this time, Mugaruma Kensai's surprised voice came from not far away. Apparently, he also recognized Hiroko Shinji from one of the Reiatsu traces. Shinigami's Reiatsu is like human palm prints and irises, only similar but not the same. What does Hiroko want to do when he comes to the penitence palace in the middle of the night? You're not planning to rob the prison, are you? That rascal, Love Akawa's smile is a little stiff. He just said it casually, but when it fell into the ears of other Gote captains and vice captains who were friends with Hiroko Shinji, it was no less than thunder on the ground, making stars shine in their eyes. White, quick, go and have a look at Ju Shen prison. Muguruma Kensai's expression changed drastically, and he almost shouted to Kuna Mashiro. He remembered the big argument he had with Hiroko Shinji in the captain's office some time ago. At that time, Hiroko Shinji's words were all about protecting Shang. No way, Kensai, do you suspect that Hiroko came to rob the prison? Impossible, absolutely impossible. Don't look at what he kept saying before that Shang was innocent. Don't say he wasn't innocent. Even if he was, he wouldn't be able to do such a reckless thing. Love Akawa, who was the first to say that Hiroko Shinji was here to rob the prison, changed his face drastically. This time he didn't even have the hard smile on his face. It's not impossible, Deputy Chief Kido. Hashigan's heavy voice reached everyone's ears. This moment, all Gote captains and vice captains present looked at him. I have sorted out all the traces of Reiatsu who were present. There are three strands in total, all familiar Reiatsu. They are Hiroko Shinji, Captain Kuchiki of the 6th Division, and Hibikiga, the third member of the former 6th Division. Facing everyone's gaze, Hashigan said something extremely shocking. Hiroko again, Captain Kuchiki again. One firmly believes that Shanghi was wronged, and the other is Shanghi's father-in-law. Muguruma Kensai has a headache. It is not a good thing for such a combination to come together and appear in the Palace of Confession. Idiot Quanxi, you guessed it. No trace of Shang was seen in Ju Shen prison. At this time, Kuna Mashiro, who had gone to Jofun prison, came back and said. So, the traces of Reiatsu that appear here are indeed those of Shang. That's right. When Odoribashi Rojiro heard this, his body trembled as if struck by thunder. What on earth is that guy Hiroko thinking? How dare he rob the prison? Are you crazy? Shiba, who arrived belatedly, heard the conversation between several people and was also shocked by Hiroko Shinji's audacity. Is it such a big fuss? The scene is full of traces of battle, and it was only the Gote captain's battle that caused it. In other words, it is possible that Hiroko prevented Captain Yinling from escaping prison, or it was possible that Captain Yinling prevented Hiroko from escaping prison. Of course, there is a third possibility that Hiroko escaped from prison himself, but was killed by Hiroko and Captain Yinling. Stopped. Hiroku Shunsui, who arrived with Shiba Ishin, understood the current situation, pondered for a moment, and came up with three hypotheses. After hearing this, all the Shinigami couldn't help but fell into deep thought. 
Prison robbery should be an inevitable fact, but it will not be the third kind. The ninth deep prison where Shang is located has many Kido, and he also has multiple Kido imprisonments. In the end, even his Zanpakudo Muramasa confined to other deep prisons. Under such circumstances, there is no possibility of Shang escaping from prison alone. Besides, there is one more thing that you all have ignored. The current chief Kido, Tsukabishi Tomioka withdrew his fingers from touching the floor of the confession palace, stood up slowly, and faced Kiraku Shunsui, Shiba Ishin and other Gotei captains. Someone used the Kido forbidden technique here, and there are two of them. Space transfer. Time stops. As a big Kido chief, and a veteran big Kido chief. Tsukabishi Tomioka is unique in Seoul society in terms of Kido accomplishments. Exactly. He had only been on the scene for a moment, but he had already noticed that someone had used the Kido forbidden technique. This level of Kido is not something that Hiroko can handle. In other words, it is most likely that Captain Yinling robbed the prison. After that, I want to take away the Sinner Shang through space transfer and time stop. Mugaruma Kensai was the first to give the conclusion. What about the remaining traces of Reiatsu from the battle? Shiba Yixin frowned, he felt that this shouldn't be the case. Prison robbery, I don't think so. Captains, why can't we just silence them? A breathtaking voice came from behind, but what the voice said made people shudder. After hearing the news, all the Gote captains looked around. I saw a gentle and peaceful figure walking out from a distance in a leisurely manner. Captain of the 4th Division. There are 8,000 flowers of Mao. This kind of matter involves the Kuchiki family, the head of the four nobles. Among the Gote captains present, she is the only one who can speak out without any scruples, let alone any evasions. It's Captain Yunohana. I didn't expect that even you would be alarmed. Can you tell us why you are so sure that you are going to silence me rather than rob me of prison? Hiraku Shunsui first greeted Yunohana Yakiru, and then asked in a asking tone. For other Gote captains, he can go in with the left ear, come out with the right ear, and even see on the spot. Only the flower of Mao has 8,000 streams. In his eyes, every word the other party said was second only to the Gote captain, Yamamoto Genryusai Shigikuni. It's not a good habit to pretend to be confused when you understand, captain of the Beijing Orchestra. Some time ago, Hiroko Shinji came to the 4th Division to look for me. Judging from his performance at the time, he seems to firmly believe in one thing, that is, Shang is innocent. However, the relationship between him and Shang is no more than a colleague, and there is no possibility of risking prison for Shang, of course there is no possibility of silence. You know Hana Yazenryu spoke to Kiraku Shunsui in the gentlest tone, then ignored the Gote captain who was pretending to be deaf and mute, and said to himself, Captain Yunohana, can I interpret your words to mean that Captain Kuchiki came to silence him, rather than to rob the prison and rescue his son-in-law? Shiba Ishin hesitated for a moment, then said something cautiously that made all the Shinigami present slightly moved. No way, Captain Kuchiki came to rob the prison. He is the leader of the noble family and a role model for Shinigami. Backquote but, is it necessary? He had already broken up with Hibikiwa when they were in the meeting hall. Shanghadu has been sentenced to a blood burial by the captain. He has been sealed for 3,000 years, which is no different from death. Hearing this, Odoribashi Rojuro, Muguruma Kensai and others couldn't help but look at each other. What's the reason? Hiroku Shunsui lowered the hat slightly on his head to prevent others from seeing the seriousness on his face, but the other Shinigami still heard it. There was not much surprise in his tone. It didn't seem surprising that Yunohana Yakiru would say this. Captain Lan Yan, and Vice Captain Aizen, they should be in Central 46 at this time. Facing the questioning looks of the captains and vice captains, Yunohana Yakiru suddenly changed the subject, but what she said immediately caused an uproar. Three days before leaving for Central 46, they mentioned something to me. Someone is doing the hollow experiment. Unfortunately, after my inspection, I did find a weak Reiatsu on Shanghai's body. Lee's good, the words fell off. All the Shinigami present were shocked. Whether it's the captain of the Gote or the vice captain. That's it, son. As early as a month ago, Captain Lan Yan was already setting up a trap. That's why, on the day he captured Shang alive, he chose not to do anything, including going to Central 46 tonight, 
all to create a perfect opportunity for the people behind the hollow experiment to silence Shang. Hiroku Shunsui's voice revealed surprise and sincere admiration for the first time. Pity. According to Captain Lan Yan's plan, it would have been possible to capture both the stolen goods and the stolen goods, but Central 46 issued an order for Captain Gote to temporarily stay in their respective team buildings. 2. Wise. You know Hana Yasunryu is the only one who can directly express his dissatisfaction with Central 46. Of course, in this case, even if she is the captain of the Gote, she is the only one who dares to yin and yang Central 46. No wonder. Reiatsu at the scene and traces of the battle. There is also an order we just received from Central 46, not to leave the team building without permission. The only Shinigami who has this kind of power and can do all this is Captain Kuchiki Ginling. Shut up. It's really unexpected. After hearing the full story of Lan Yan's plan from Yunohana Yasunryu, the Gote captains present understood it and were also secretly frightened. None of them expected that behind the Zanpakudo rebellion, which they thought had come to an end a month ago, there would actually be an even more explosive hollow experiment incident. And, this time not only the former Gote captain was involved, but even the current captain of the 6th division was involved. That is the head of the four nobles. No wonder it can be hidden so deeply. Wait a minute, Captain Yunohana, there's one thing I still can't figure out. That is, what role does Hiroko Shinji play in this matter? Prison robbery. Prevent the prison robbery. Or maybe. Shiba Ishin suddenly asked a question that affected Muguruma Kensai, Otoribashi Rojiro and others. Captain Ishin, in your opinion, what do Hiroko Shinji and the sinner Habiki have in common? You know Hana Yakiru asked with a chuckle. Anything in common? Have, Hiroko Shinji, Shang, they all have unharmonious relationships with Captain Lan Yan and Vice Captain Aizen. Shiba thought for a moment and then reacted immediately. Captain you know Hana, what you mean is that Hiroko lost to Captain Lan Yan in the captain's duel, so he, wanted to go through the Shang River and perform the hollow, thereby trying to gain the power to defeat Captain Lan Yan. Is that so? Muguruma Kensai finished speaking word by word, and then looked at Yunohana Yakiru with a worried expression. What's his role in it? Is it like what you said, Captain Quanshi, that you want to gain the power to defeat Captain Lan Yan through Hollow, or is it something else? The truth of everything will become clear as soon as we find the location of the space transfer. Maojihua Bachinli paused slightly before continuing. Are you right, Big Kido? Finished. She turned to look at Tsukubishi Tomioka who had been silent. Did you find it? All Gote captains and vice captains unanimously focused their attention on Tsukubishi Tomioka. To this, Tsukubishi Tomioka did not speak, but turned his back to everyone, looking at Serai T, and finally fixed in one direction. Kuchiki Mansion. Although it is late at night, the Kuchiki family is the head of the four nobles and has many servants, whether it is a large hall built with wooden pillars, a courtyard garden with plum trees and a stream paved with stones on both sides, or even every room where the Kuchiki family lives, there are Shinigami standing guard and patrolling all over. It is not only five steps to the first floor, but also five steps to one post, not only ten steps to one pavilion, it is also one step to one post. However, this tranquility and strictness were soon broken. As green brilliance suddenly bloomed under the night, a cyan figure similar to Kido's barrier rose from a garden of the Kuchiki mansion. What is that? It's Kido. Alert. Enemy attack. Someone has invaded the Kuchiki home. Faced with the sudden change, Shinigami and the servants who were patrolling and standing guard were shocked at first. Obviously, they did not expect that some of the four nobles would dare to attack and offend at night. After being briefly surprised, Shinigami who was nearby and asked immediately pulled out Zanpakudo and rushed over. At the same time, waves of rapid, sharp alarm bells spread throughout the Kuchiki mansion, waking up all the Kuchiki family members who had already fallen asleep. Boom! Just when dozens of Shinigami servants surrounded the entire garden, the Kido pattern blooming with brilliant blue light slowly dissipated in the air. But what followed was a figure ADFG that made all the Shinigami present feel both strange and familiar. It appeared out of thin air and caught everyone's eyes. Including Kuchiki Sojun who came after hearing the news. Father. Father. It's not impossible. How did you become like this? Kuchiki Ongchen looked around and saw a figure covered in white steel skin, 
looking like a humanoid lizard but holding a zanpakuto in his hand, standing in the center of the courtyard. Both the appearance and the reyatsu that permeated his body made him change his face with horror. He is really the leader of the Yinling clan. But, what on earth is going on? That's hollow. Serides Taboo. The moment they heard Kuchiki Sojun call him his father, the Shinigami servants present were in an uproar, and they all looked at each other in disbelief. Faced with the doubts of many, foods, Kuchiki Yinling, who has been imprisoned since the hollow, responded to the hunting moment after a brief days after escaping from the trap. Roar. With a roar to the sky, the majestic Reiatsu was released, triggering a Reiatsu storm that ravaged the entire Kuchiki mansion. The Shinigami servant closest to him did not even have time to react, and was blown away by the Reiatsu wave. The servants who stood further back were even more unlucky, because after the Kuchiki silver bell roared, he slashed with his backhand. Boom! The sword came out across the air, killing dozens of Shinigami until they vomited blood and flew backwards, and completely destroyed the Kuchiki family's courtyard. Ah! Clan leader Hollow! It has degenerated into nothingness and completely lost its control. Seeing this scene, the servants who arrived one after another were shocked and at a loss. They were servants of the Kuchiki family, but they were facing the patriarch of the Kuchiki family. They didn't know whether to attack or stop for a moment. Father, Kuchiki Kenshin's face changed uncertainly, sometimes shocked, sometimes disbelieving, sometimes angry, and finally he was determined. No matter why Kuchiki Ginling became like this, as the eldest son of the Kuchiki family, he must stand up. Otherwise, if the Kuchiki Silver Bell continues to wreak havoc, the Kuchiki family will be removed from the five noble families just like the Shiba family. Everyone obeys orders. Prepare Bakudo. Number 99. With Kuchiki Sojin's sharp shout, the overwhelmed Shinigami servants seemed to have a backbone and began to chant Kido one after another. And it's Bakudo number 99. Of course, they are just servants of the Kuchiki family and cannot use such a high-level Bakudo, but the Kuchiki family is the head of the four nobles, and their background is unfathomable. There is a Kido technique that is not widely spread in soul society. Multiple chorus, ten Shinigami, or even dozens of Shinigami unite, chant together, and gather the power of all Shinigami to jointly use Kido. Bakudo number 99, which was originally unable to be used by one person, is now joined by a total of 50 Shinigami servants. Not only can it be used, but its power is not small at all. Bakudo's 99 Forbidden as the chance of many Shinigami fell, Reiatsu leather strips and Reiatsu nails suddenly flew out from the berserk Kuchiki Ginling, sealing his arms that were waving Zanpakuto. Roar! With his hands sealed, Kuchiki Silver Bell was still full of ferocity. While struggling wildly, he opened his mouth to condense Scarlet Sarrow and shot it out in all directions. Boom! The huge explosion swept through a space of hundreds of meters in an instant, destroying all gardens, statues, stone pillars, and streams, and took away dozens of Kuchiki family servants. Not enough. Continue. Number 2. Kuchiki avoided Saro's aftermath, his pale face showing a bit of fear. Just now, he was almost taken away by his father's Saro. Bakudo's 99 number. 2. Swastika Ban. Fortunately, the Kuchiki family has many servants. Although there were heavy casualties just now, more Shinigami immediately came to replace them and completed Bakudo's 99 swastika ban. First song stop tension. In an instant, the huge strip of cloth was like a python coming out of its hole, wrapping around Kuchiki Silver Bell's body, including using Sero's face and Maino's Grande's mask. Tuku by Lien Bar. Immediately afterwards, Dozens of Reiatsu iron body and Reiatsu cloth strips were inserted into the body of Kuchiki Silver Bell, completely fixing it to the ground. Young Patriarch, do you want to continue? Seeing this scene, a steward of the Kuchiki family hesitated. Continue. Kuchiki Onchen took a sharp breath, and then shouted sharply. Whether it's his father's strength or hollow, he understands it very well. It is not an easy task to control Kuchiki Silver Bell, let alone it is completely hollow now. Final song, Ban Taifung. The Shinigami servants present looked at each other, thinking of the current situation of Kuchiki Gingling, coupled with the fact that Bukuya Kuchiki is still young and Habiki has become a criminal, the position of clan leader will most likely fall behind the rebellious Kuchiki Sojun. They no longer hesitated and immediately used the last level of Bakudo number. 99. Boom. 
With a heavy sound breaking through the air, a Reiatsu stone tablet with a swastika printed on it fell from the sky and landed on the unable to move Kuchiki Ginling, directly pressing him to the ground. After seeing that Kuchiki's silver bell was silent for the time being after hollow, Kuchiki Ouchen breathed a sigh of relief, and then ordered people to continue to strengthen Kido's confinement and clean the battlefield at the same time. Father, what happened? Also, who is this guy imprisoned by Bakudo? Why do I feel like his Reiatsu looks a bit familiar? At this time, Yukuya Kuchiki arrived belatedly dragging Zanpakudo. When the servants around him heard this, they all lowered their heads and remained silent, as if they had not heard anything. That's your grandpa, Kuchiki Onchen sighed and did not choose to hide it from Yukuya Kuchiki. Something like this happened to Optimus Prime of the Kuchiki family. He knew that his position as the head of the Kuchiki family's nobles could no longer be maintained. Father, why did you rebel? Unlike Baymax, who would be cold on the outside but hot on the inside, calm and collected in the future, Yukuya Kuchiki was famous for his impulsive personality and bad temper when he was young. When he heard that Kuchiki Kenshin actually ordered people to imprison Kuchiki Silver Bell, he blurted out immediately. It wasn't me who rebelled, it was your grandfather who hollowed. Kuchiki Sojun almost laughed out of anger at his son's words. Does he still need to rebel? If his health could be better, Kuchiki Ginling would almost kneel down and beg him to take over the position of clan leader. What? Impossible. Grandpa is a role model for Shinigami and will never violate such a taboo. When Byakuya Kuchiki heard this, his expression suddenly changed. No matter how young he is, he is the eldest son and grandson of the Kuchiki family, so he naturally knows what hollow means. Especially what happened to Kuchiki Ginling. I suspect something is wrong here. Of course Kuchiki Sojun knows this. Just as the father and son were talking, a scalp-numbing roar of wild beasts suddenly came. When Bukuya Kuchiki and Kuchiki Sojun heard this, they immediately looked around. I saw the previously injured Shinigami servants, including the butler who was injured when he resisted Saro, with large amounts of white Reiatsu substance emerging from the seven holes on their faces. Most Shinigami, after the white substance emerged from their bodies, began to transform into spirits, leaving a piece of death chamber equipment falling to the ground. But there were also a handful of powerful servants who managed to survive, their faces covered in white substance gradually taking on a virtual mask. For example, this is the case with the butler of the Kuchiki family. Someone wants to use our Kuchiki family for the hollow experiment. Kuchiki Ongjun saw this. Song felt a chill coming from the bottom of his feet to his forehead. If he was still doubtful just now, he is sure now. This is a hollow experiment for the Kuchiki family. Who? Yukuya Kuchiki was furious and pulled out Zanpakudo on the spot. I. Suddenly, a familiar voice came from a distance. Sounding river. Others can't recognize it, but how could Kuchiki Sojun and Yukuya Kuchiki not recognize it? The moment the two heard the sound, their bodies trembled violently and they exclaimed. As expected, when they heard the sound and left, they saw Aizen and Tusen Konami walking out of the darkness. Certainly, in their eyes, Aizen became Habiki, and Tusen Konami became Hiroko Shinji. Don't you like Hollow's feast? Kuchiki Aojun. Aizen looked at Kuchiki Kenshin with a sinister smile on his face. Sounding river, Hiroko Shinji, it's actually you. Did you do all this? Kuchiki Kenshin's face was cold and his eyes were as sharp as blades. When he heard the sound of Shang, he couldn't believe that a sinner imprisoned in the penitent's palace could actually escape. But with the appearance of Hiroko Shinji behind him, all doubts were instantly solved. It was clearly Hiroko Shinji who robbed the prison and framed the Kuchiki Silver Bell, which triggered the Kuchiki family's hollow feast. You actually let Grandpa hollow. Shang, have you forgotten how good Grandpa was to you before? Yukuya Kuchiki roared angrily, Nice to me, use me to help your Kuchiki family gain the status of the head of the nobility, but you only give me three seats in the sixth division. Even your good-for-nothing father is the vice-captain. Fifty years, do you know how I have lived these fifty years? Aizen imitated Shanghai's tone. I helped him guard the Kuchiki home and helped him with the hollow experiment, but in the end the reward was the identity of a criminal, the sentence of blood burial, and the fate of being silenced. Fortunately, I saved a hand and won over Hiroko Shinji early, otherwise I would have died by this old guy's sword tonight. Since Kuchiki is unkind, don't blame me for being unjust. 
Doesn't he like Hollow very much? Doesn't he value the Kuchiki family above all else? Well, I'll let him have a taste of Hollow and let everyone in the Kuchiki family have a taste. The taste of Hollow. As soon as these words came out, everyone felt filled with rage and coldness all over their bodies. Why choose to fall? Why associate with such sinners? Did you also lose the honor of being a Shinigami when you lost your position as captain of the Gote? Hiroko Shinji. Kuchiki Sojun shouted sharply. One Habiki is difficult enough to deal with, but now comes the former captain of Division 5, Hiroko Shinji. In desperation, he could only choose to delay as much time as possible while praying for Gote 13's support to arrive at 7 as soon as possible. Chapter 101 Fallen. No, I just want more power. I can defeat Lan Yan Sosuke and regain all the power I lost. Tusen Konami imitates Hiroko Shinji's tone. Only you. You can never beat Lan Yan. It's forever. Bukuya Kuchiki's eyes were like daggers, fixed on Tusen Konami coldly. Also, you have no future. Now, I want you to pay for everything you have done. Hiroko Shinji. Finished. He raised his Zanpakudo and shouted the liberation language and Shikai's name. Scatter. Senban Sakura. The words just fell. Zanpakudo's blade instantly shattered into thousands of pink blades, and then blew up a storm of blades, sweeping towards Hiroko Shinji and Habiki. Your opponent is not me. Let's think about how to place the patriarch of your Kuchiki family first. Senban Sakura, Aizen and Tusen Konami were swept away and flew back, but they did not forget to raise their hands to destroy Bakudo who restrained Kuchiki's silver bell. Kuchiki Ongchen saw this scene, his face was full of anxiety. In desperation, he even forgot Hibikiwa's Muramasa ability and directly pulled out Zanpakudo. Enjoy it, the feast I have prepared for you Kuchiki family. Aizen raised the corner of his mouth and pulled out Zanpakudo with his right hand. Whisper, Shijung. The remaining servants of the Kuchiki family unsheathed their Zanpakudo one after another, and after materializing, they immediately slashed at their own Shinigami with their swords. Facing a backstab from Zanpakudo. Most of the Shinigami servants were injured. After the wounds appeared, they quickly became like the Shinigami in the hollow before, with a large amount of white substance emerging from the seven holes. Even Kuchiki Sojun is no exception. Only Bukuya Kuchiki, because Senban Sakura had just been released by him, luckily escaped the backstab from Zanpakudo. Ah, Kuchiki Kengchen screamed and knelt on the ground. Wrapped in a large amount of white substance, the prototype of a mask quickly appeared on his face. However, unlike other hollows, the spirits disappeared in an instant, leaving only the servants dressed as dead bullies. He has always been physically disabled, but he persisted in the hollow. Really, it's because of the royal blood. So there is a natural resistance to hollow, and the possibility of controlling hollow is higher. After taking in all this scene, Aizen's eyes under the framed mirror flashed with a hint of understanding. Bukuya Kuchiki had a hard time dodging left and right under Senban Sakura's fierce attack. At this time, he was very happy. Because Shihuin Yoruichi liked to tease him since he was a child, he developed a good shunpo by chance. Otherwise, the Kuchiki family, the third generation, will neatly hollow today. Leave me alone, Bukuya, run quickly, go to the first team to find the captain, no, go to the fifth team. Bukuya, go to the fifth team to ask for Captain Lan Yan. Kuchiki Ongjun knelt on the ground, resisting the erosion of the hollow while yelling at Bukuya Kuchiki. At this point, he knew that among the four nobles, there would be no more Kuchiki. Yes, after this battle, the Kuchiki family could not even maintain their status as one of the four nobles, let alone the head of the nobility. At this moment, he just hopes to save his son's life and not to ruin the Kuchiki family. No, how could Bukuya Kuchiki leave his father and grandfather here and escape alone? The education he received did not support him to do such a thing. Boom. Suddenly, a large lizard foot covered with white material stepped on Kuchiki Kenshin's head and trampled him to the ground. Grandpa, no, stop, that's father, that's your son. Upon seeing this, Bukuya Kuchiki's pupils suddenly shrank, and his face was filled with anger and weakness. Roar, facing his grandson's roar, Kuchiki Yinling's penetrating deep yellow eyes fluctuated slightly, but it seemed that the hollow had been completely corroded for too long, and even he had almost lost his mind, leaving only killing and madness. 
In addition, Kuchiki Sojun had just ordered someone to use Bakudo to imprison him again, which made him use all his remaining wisdom to hold grudges. Under the dull gaze of Byakuya Kuchiki, Kuchiki Silver Bell stepped on Kuchiki Kangjin, and the mask-covered face slowly opened its ferocious mouth full of sharp teeth, and then a ray of light bloomed, and a Rayatsu sphere condensed in an instant. Let's go, Byakuya, go quickly, go to the 5th Division and ask for Captain Lan Yan. Only he can save the Kuchiki family, no, save you. Feeling the powerful Rayatsu entrenched above his head, Kuchiki Ongjun did not struggle or be afraid, but let him yell at Byakuya Kuchiki again. Boom, with a thunderous noise, the fiery and violent Sero spewed out, completely submerging Kuchiki Sojun who was in the hollow, and then exploded, turning into Rayatsu flames and smoke all over the sky. Byakuya Kuchiki's pupils dilated, his body trembled suddenly, as if the sky was falling, and he stayed in place. Wasted, this is top-quality hollow material. Aizen stood aside and saw that the extremely important hollow material, Kuchiki Kangjun, was shattered by a blow from Kuchiki's silver bell. He said it was a waste, but he had a frightening smile on his face. Tusen Konami spread out Reiatsu's consciousness and took in his mind the Kuchiki family that had turned into a living hell. Some Shinigami are transformed into spiritual beings all over their body, and they are so dead that they only pretend to be dead. Some Shinigami, Hollow went berserk, killing and destroying everywhere. There were only less than ten people left in the huge Kuchiki mansion. Nine of them are half Shinigami, half Maino's Grande masks. Only Byakuya Kuchiki is left, lingering under Senban Sakura's blade. Yao, what are you thinking about? Aizen suddenly turned his head and looked at Tusen Konami. I'm just starting to understand a little bit what you said before, Master Aizen. The most terrifying thing about Master Lan Yan is no longer the use of candlelight. Reiatsu, Zanpakudo, Kido, Kendo, Shunpo, White Hits, as well as his methods, castles and strategies, all combined together, make him terrifying. Tusen Konami did not hide anything and revealed his innermost thoughts. This night was so exciting to him. In the past, the Kuchiki family was so high that even the Sunayashiro family was inferior. In Lan Yan's hands, it was almost wiped out. The Kuchiki Silver Bell, who single-handedly pushed the Kuchiki family to the top of the nobility, was defeated in a flash and became the material of Hollow's experiment. The vice captain of Division 6, Kuchiki Sojun, was first blasted by Hollow and then his father, Kuchiki Ginling, with Sero. The third generation of the huge Kuchiki family, the only one left alive is Byakuya Kuchiki. All of this is inseparable from Lan Yan's methods. Yes, this is the scary thing about my brother. Aizen heard this and deeply agreed. If this were not the case, how could Lan Shang become the person he would spend his life trying to emulate and catch up with? Roar, just as the two were chatting and laughing, admiring the head of the nobles walking towards annihilation step by step, a Sero shot shattered his son's Kuchiki silver bell and roared wildly, then turned to look at Byakuya Kuchiki, the only one present without Maino's Grande Reiatsu, step by step walking towards him, Sero condensed in his mouth again. Obviously, whatever he said tonight would unlock the achievement of eliminating descendants. No one could stop him from achieving this double feat. Are you late, father, feeling the wave of Reiatsu coming towards me, and the overwhelming killing intent? Byakuya Kuchiki finally came out of the pain of losing his father. Thinking of Kuchiki Kenshin's words before his death, he completely let go of the stubbornness in his heart after losing to Lan Yan, and turned around to use Shunpo, and flashed away towards the 5th squadron. Clang! But before he had gone far, Senban Sakura dodged to cut off his retreat and slashed at his neck. At the same time, the Kuchiki silver bell behind also condenses Sero into shape. He was so crazy that he could even break up his son Kuchiki Sojun into spirit children, let alone Byakuya Kuchiki and the materialized Senban Sakura. The ape light blooms. A Sero with extremely high density of Reiatsu crossed the sky above the Kuchiki family and blasted through the sky towards Byakuya Kuchiki. This blow brought Byakuya Kuchiki and Senban Sakura into the scope of destruction. Is this the end of it? There is Senban Sakura in the front and Kuchiki Silver Bell Sero in the back. Lost everything overnight. After suffering his grandfather's hollow, his father's tragic death and Senban Sakura's betrayal, Byakuya Kuchiki was completely devastated. Are you late? Cemetery. An unusually familiar voice suddenly sounded in my ears. Kuchiki Byakuya, 
who had closed his eyes and waited for death, suddenly opened his eyes, and what he saw was a shining sky that shrouded Sarites' night, and even split the sky of despair that shrouded his heart, and the golden light flew through the air. He just saw this golden light shining in the distance, and then a figure appeared beside him out of thin air. Then, under the threat of Senban Sakura's blade, he slowly stretched out a finger and forcibly cut off the blade that killed him. Stop in front of you. Zanpakudo betrayal. So, Shang escaped from prison. The captain is still merciful. Lan Yan came in with the light, stopped Senban Sakura's blade with one finger, pressed his fingertips, and pointed directly at the materialized Senban Sakura. Laser light. With the fingertip as the center, a circle of golden brilliance bloomed, and then the laser beam shot out, covering Senban Sakura's chest. Boom, the light flashed and turned into a huge Reiatsu fireball, drowning Senban Sakura's body. It is indeed the hollow experiment. With a snap of his fingers, after disposing of the materialized Senban Sakura, Lan Yan turned his head and glanced at a Shinigami named Hollow. Tian Kong Yun Sword. He opened his five fingers and gently grasped the air. Reiatsu photons condensed, forming a lightsaber and falling into his hand the moment he closed his fingers. Call out. The moment the Tian Kong Yun sword was taken, Yukuya Kuchiki only felt that Lan Yan's body beside him was slightly blurred in his sight, and there was a faint golden light blooming, and then it returned to its original state. But less than a hundredth of a second later. Poof. In addition to the Kuchiki silver bell, the remaining nine hollow shinigami, their masks, and heads were cut off together. In the flash of light and stone, Lan Yan pierced through Senban Sakura with a laser beam, and instantly killed nine hollow shinigami with an Tian Kong Yun sword. After doing all this, the scarlet sarrow released by Kuchiki's silver bell belatedly arrived in front of him. One can imagine how fast Lan Yan is. In just one moment, so many things were done. Careful, seeing Saro so close, Yukuya Kuchiki reacted as if he had just woken up from a dream. When Lan Yan heard this, he still looked calm and unhurried, pointing his left hand unhurriedly. Call out, with a sharp sound piercing the air, laser light burst out from the fingertips, hitting the oncoming scarlet Saro. If compared to size and size, Kuchiki Ginling Saro is at least ten times more powerful than Lan Yan's laser beam. But when comparing Poppy's body shape, is it scale? No, it's about who is better at positioning. After all, since ancient times, you will lose against Bozuo. This law still works in soul society. Certainly. In addition to positioning, strength is also crucial. And what about the Kuchiki silver bell? The position is not correct. There is a huge disparity in strength. Boom. When the laser light collided with the scarlet sero, a brilliant golden red light suddenly bloomed, dividing the entire Kuchiki mansion into two, with one side being golden and the other side being red. It presents a horrifying picture with clear distinctions. However, this stalemate did not last long. On the contrary, in less than a second, the scarlet sero was penetrated by the laser light from the center, and then scattered into spirit particles, and finally turned into waves of dust in the sky. Call out. At the same time, the laser laser was coming unabated, and after destroying the scarlet sero, it bombarded Kuchiki Ginling, first piercing his chest, and then a huge Reiatsu explosion blew him away. Thank you. Seeing Lan Yan descending like a divine weapon from heaven at the critical moment of life and death for himself and the Kuchiki family. Yukuya Kuchiki's expression was very complicated, including gratitude, shame, and excitement. Apparently, with a strong sense of self-esteem, he was rescued by someone who was better than him in the past. He didn't know how to face it or what to say. The corners of his mouth wriggled a few times, and in the end he only managed to utter those five words. Lan Yan the other side, after Aizen saw his brother on the stage, he also knew that this big drama should come to an end. So in the eyes of Byakuya Kuchiki, despite Shanghai's identity, he shouted with hatred on his face. Sounding River, Lan Yan understood it, and the two brothers started performing wildly, only making Byakuya Kuchiki stunned. It's you again who ruined my good deeds, Aizen said coldly. I didn't expect that, you're actually still alive. I thought you would die in the hands of Kuchiki Ginling. Lan Yan's voice was neither salty nor bland. There are more things you didn't expect. Don't know, the Bukuya Kuchiki you just protected is the grandson of your enemy. Aizen laughed wildly. You thought you saved the Kuchiki family. You thought you saved Bukuya Kuchiki. 
you just saved your enemy. To tell you the truth, your brother was attacked at Spiritual Arts Academy. It's made of Kuchiki silver bells. As soon as these words came out, Lan Yan's face changed slightly. You are lying. My grandfather was a role model for Shinigami. How could you do such a despicable act? When Byakuya Kuchiki heard this, he became furious. He would never tolerate the enemies of the Kuchiki family continuing to throw dirty water after killing his father and grandfather. Moreover, if what Shang said was true, then he really didn't have the face-to-face -face Lan Yan as his lifesaver. Shinigami role model, stop laughing so hard, do you think the title of the head of the Kuchiki family's noble family came from the strong wind? Laozi used Muramasa, a knife and a gun to help Kuchiki Yinling kill him back. Aizen wore Shanghai's vest and stabbed Bukuya Kuchiki again. Also, you are also responsible for the attack on Lan Yan and Aizen. Bukuya Kuchiki, on the day the Lan Yan brothers were attacked, have you forgotten what Kuchiki Yinling ordered you to do? The words just fell. Bukuya Kuchiki's body trembled suddenly, as if struck by thunder. When he was a teenager, he had a hot temper and an impulsive personality, but he was not stupid. Aizen's words immediately reminded him of that day when Kuchiki Yinling ordered him to test brother Lan Yan's affairs. After putting all this together, he still didn't know that Aizen's words were true. It seems you have remembered it. First, let you approach Lan Yan as a classmate to find out his strength, and then immediately send killers to attack them at night. This is your grandpa, this is the role model of Shinigami in your mouth. Aizen said to Bukuya Kuchiki with a smile. No. Impossible. You are lying. Grandpa, he has no grudge against Lan Yan and Aizen. There is no reason to do this. Bukuya Kuchiki didn't dare to look at Lan Yan, who had just saved him. He was ashamed to face it. Reason. Then it's the same as why your grandfather asked me to marry into the Kuchiki family. He thinks that Lan Yan and Aizen, like me, both have fragments of the Soul King in their bodies. Aizen said word by word. Snap. Bukuya Kuchiki collapsed back to the ground, his face as pale as paper, and he kept mumbling to himself. Impossible. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Although he kept whispering that it was impossible, he never questioned or refuted Aizen's words. You understand, right, Lan Yan. As for the Kuchiki family, there is no antagonistic relationship between us. Leave Bukuya Kuchiki to me and let me kill him, and you can just watch your enemies being wiped out and the four great nobles, and there will be no Kuchiki anymore, isn't that good? Tusen Konami also stood up at this time, wearing Hiroko Shinji's vest. Lan Yan, I was indeed ordered by Grandpa to fight you. If you want to kill me, I have nothing to say. Just, I ask you one thing, kill the sinner Shang and the sinner Hiroko Shinji, and never let them breathe in the air of soul society again. Bukuya Kuchiki suddenly stood up, walked to Lan Yan, and then knelt down on one knee. As for me, I'll do whatever you want. Finished. Bukuya Kuchiki, who was trained as the young patriarch of the Kuchiki family, lowered his noble head towards Lan Yan. There is no way to repay the kindness of saving a life. The crime of murder is shameless to face. At this moment, what he was thinking about was using the head on his neck to wash away the shame and sin of the Kuchiki family, and at the same time wipe out the enemies of the Kuchiki family. Sound River, Hiroko Shinji, pulled into hell. Lan Yan looked at Bukuya Kuchiki who couldn't kneel down, his eyes under the framed mirror flickered slightly, but he didn't take action immediately, as if he was thinking about it. Can't you do it, or do you care about the friendship between classmates? Don't be stupid, Lan Yan. Noble Kuchiki and Rukongai common people are from two different worlds. In the eyes of nobles like Kuchiki, you are just an ant crawling on the roadside. You treat others as classmates, and you save people in danger, but others never treat you as classmates, or even treat you as an equal, Shinigami. Tusen Konami wore Hiroko Shinji's vest and made fun of him, but of course he also included some personal information. After all, his old friend died at the hands of the Sunayashiro family, who were also among the four nobles. I don't know if it's because his acting skills have improved, or because he feels empathy, but he acted so well that he didn't even need Aizen to polish him up with Kyoka Suigetsu. Hear this, Bukuya Kuchiki, who was kneeling on the ground, immediately lowered his head. It seemed that Tusen Konami had poked a soft spot in his heart, making him feel even more ashamed and shameless to face Lan Yan. 
others saved him in times of crisis and saved Daxia from collapse. What about yourself? As early as a few months ago, he had already participated in the attack and murder of Lan Yan. Even if he didn't know it, it still made him feel ashamed and angry. Hollow experiment, you were also involved, right? Hiroko Shinji. When Lan Yan heard this, he did not kill Bukuya Kuchiki with his sword, but looked at Tusan Konami who was wearing Hiroko Shinji's vest. I said yes, what can you do? Tusan Konami grinned. Call out. What responded to him was a golden light that overwhelmed his eyes and all sight. Poof. Along with the sound of tearing silk, a head flew out of the air, dragging scarlet blood and fell to the ground. No need to doubt. It's Hiroko Shinji's head. As for Tusan Konami, he has completed his role and exited. Not so good. Just giving you a ride. Lan Yan held the Tian Kong Yun sword and glanced at Hiroko Shinji's already dead head. Yes. This is why he didn't smash Hiroko Shinji into pieces when he was in the Penitence Palace. The purpose is to act as a prop at the Kuchiki home station and exert the greatest effect. Looking at Hiroko Shinji's head that had just stopped after rolling on the ground for several times, Yukuya Kuchiki felt relieved and happy at the same time, and couldn't help but look up at Amo. It's your turn, Shang. Lan Yan ignored Bukuya Kuchiki's extremely complicated gaze, but turned to look at Aizen. You actually helped your enemy's grandson. It's just plain stupid. Seeing this, Aizen was shocked and angry, and his micro-expressions were very precise. At the same time, Shunpo flew back, showing that he did not dare to confront Lan Yan head-on. Roar! Lan Yan was just about to give chase, but he never thought that Kuchiki Yinling, who had just been hit by a laser beam and was pierced through the chest and blown away, stood up again with the help of high-speed regeneration, and under the roar of the sky, the light condensed in his mouth. The scarlet sero that lit up the entire Kuchiki mansion was then bombarded. Backquote don't get in the way. Facing the incoming scarlet sero, Lan Yan held the sword with one hand and waved it casually. The Tiankongyan sword drew a thrilling trajectory under the night, splitting the oncoming sero in half. 75 of the Kudo Five Pillars of Iron Pass. Kuchiki Yinling wanted to use Sero again, but Lan Yan had given up chanting and summoned five Reiatsu iron pillars connected by chains to press him to the ground. Without exception, all five bodies were crushed by the iron pillars. Although he was still struggling wildly, he still couldn't break away from the suppression of Reiatsu's iron pillar for a moment. Want to kill me? Lan Yan, can you do it? It's better to think about how to deal with this old guy Kuchiki Ginling. Seizing this moment of opportunity, Aizen had already walked away, leaving only a burst of triumphant laughter that made Bukuya Kuchiki furious, echoing in the Kuchiki mansion. Hey, how long do you want to kneel? Lan Yan glanced at Bukuya Kuchiki who was still kneeling at his feet. You won't kill me. Bukuya Kuchiki met Lan Yan's gaze, a little surprised. Don't be stupid, how could I kill my classmates? When Hiroko Shinji repeatedly provoked Aizen, I only deposed him as Gote captain. If he hadn't done all kinds of bad things, including prison robberies, hollows, and frame-ups, I wouldn't have killed him just now. Lan Yan let out a soft breath. But, my grandfather and I were also involved in attacking and killing you before. When Bukuya Kuchiki heard this, he thought about it and realized that what Lan Yan said was true. Whether it's Hiroko Shinji who has repeatedly threatened and threatened Aizen since the Spiritual Arts Academy, or Hibiki who caused a scene in the meeting hall and severely damaged Aizen with hypnosis Kyoka water. In the end, Lan Yan chose to spare the lives of both of them. Thinking of this, while he admired Lan Yan's broad-mindedness, he also felt ashamed. The crime is not as bad as the infertility. One thing comes back to another. There is no need to impose your grandfather's sins on you. What's more, I've been your classmate, Yukuya Kuchiki, for a month, and I still don't know your character. With your proud character, if you knew the inside story, you wouldn't say anything about stopping Kuchiki giggling, but you would definitely not bother to do such a thing. Lan Yan took a deep look at Yukuya Kuchiki, and then withdrew his gaze, seemingly forgetting the grudges between the Kuchiki family and their brothers in just a few seconds. This is indeed the case. After the Feast of Hollow, the four nobles had no more Kuchiki. The grudges between Kuchiki Yinling and them were naturally wiped out. Feel sorry, it's my grandfather who is sorry for you. After Bukuya Kuchiki heard this, he felt even worse. He was extremely grateful to Lan Yan. 
he felt extremely ashamed of Kuchiki Silver Bell. My grandpa, whom I used to regard as a role model for Shinigami and whom I imitated and admired, turned out to be such a dirty person. You will have plenty of time to tell me these words in the future. I think you can see that after tonight, the era of Kuchiki Silver Bell is over. As for the third generation of the Kuchiki family, you are the only one left. In other words, from now on, you will have to carry the glory and burden of the family on your shoulders, whether it is to wash away the shame or restore the past glory of the Kuchiki family. Lan Yan reached out and pulled up Byakuya Kuchiki who was kneeling on the ground. Clan leader, Byakuya Kuchiki at this time, he thought of his father Kuchiki Sojun who died tragically at the hands of Kuchiki Ginling. He took another look at Kuchiki Ginling, who was about to break away from Bakudo. He felt that it was not the rights of the Kuchiki family, but a heavy responsibility, and there were endless shame. After all, Kuchiki Silver Bell left him a mess. There is no nobleman who will prosper forever, but there will always be a Shinigami who can revitalize the family. Lan Yan glanced at the Kuchiki mansion that was in ruins. Kuchiki, such a family and such a surname will only make me feel ashamed. Is it necessary to revitalize it? Byakuya Kuchiki growled through gritted teeth. If he respected Kuchiki Silver Bell in the past and was proud of the Kuchiki family, now he hates Kuchiki Silver Bell and feels ashamed of his surname. At this moment, he just wants the Kuchiki family to become the history of Soul Society along with the Kuchiki Silver Bell. Byakuya Kuchiki, is this all you have? What makes you feel shameful is not the Kuchiki family, not the name Kuchiki, but the Kuchiki Silver Bell. It was Ginling who was wrong, not Kuchiki. Lan Yan's words were like a bell at dusk ADFH, in the morning, thought-provoking and shaking Byakuya Kuchiki's mind. Your grandpa stained the Kuchiki, then wash it again. Today, Kuchiki is ashamed because of your grandfather. Tomorrow, you will make Kuchiki proud because of you, Byakuya. Or do you want to be poked in the back all your life, so that the family you come from can be reduced from a model of Shinigami to a shame of Shinigami? After repeated questioning, Yukuya Kuchiki was struck with thunder and enlightenment. Originally surrounded by a sea of pain, shame, anger and other negative things, he instantly saw a future path in life. I want to revitalize the Kuchiki family. Yukuya Kuchiki murmured to himself, his voice changing from low to high, and his tone changing from trance to determination. Suddenly, he thought of Shang who had just escaped. His eyes were not only determined but also full of murderous intent. And Shang, Kuchiki's shame, one comes from Kuchiki's silver bell, and the other comes from him. I want to kill him myself. I must. Byakuya Kuchiki took a deep breath, and then shouted word by word, his voice filled with unquestionable murderous intent. Shan, speaking of which, I am partly responsible for the disaster that happened to your Kuchiki family. On that day in the meeting hall, I knew that Shang had a virtual power in his body, but I didn't know if it was his personal behavior or if there was someone behind it, so I deliberately set up a trap. When Shang was imprisoned, he kept an eye on the Confession Palace secretly until the last day of the blood burial period. If there was a black hand behind it, today would be the best day to silence him. For this reason, I specially took Aizen with me to Central 46, firstly to report the incident at Shang Hollow, and secondly, to send a signal to the mastermind behind the scenes, so that he would feel more at ease with me. When Lan Yan heard this, he sighed slightly. It's a pity that, despite all the calculations, I still end up with two things. I didn't expect that Hiroko Shinji actually participated in the hollow experiment and went to the confession palace to rob the prison, I didn't expect that Central 46, after receiving my report, not only did not take it seriously, but immediately sent people to the confession palace to collect the stolen goods and obtain them, and instead issued an order. The captain of Gote 13 is temporarily banned from the team building, including Aizen and I, and we are forced to stay at Central 46. Later, as expected, a prison robbery broke out at the confession palace. I guessed that something was going to happen to the Kuchiki family, so I rushed over as soon as possible, but it was still a step too late. If I could have set off earlier, regardless of Central 46's order, maybe you father. Dot hey, forget it. He shook his head and casually gave Central 46 some eye drops, which in turn planted a seed of hatred for Central 46 in Byakuya Kuchiki's heart. Room 46. When Byakuya Kuchiki heard this, his eyes drooped slightly, hiding the hatred deep in his eyes. 
he doesn't blame Lan Yan, but feels more and more grateful. It was just Lan Yan's words that reminded him that Kuchiki Kangjun died tragically in front of him. It was Central 46's inaction that led to the tragedy of the Kuchiki family. All the awe he had for Central 46 in his heart disappeared, leaving only hatred and hatred, disgust. There is only a thin line between love and hate. One night, his father was killed, his grandfather became a criminal, and the Kuchiki house was destroyed and fell into decline. The source of everything, in addition to pointing to Shangan Hiroko Shinji, is Central 46. How could Bukuya Kuchiki not hate this? Boom! Just when Lan Yan's pua against Bukuya Kuchiki was coming to an end, a loud noise suddenly came. The two of them looked around and saw that Kuchiki Ginling, who had just been suppressed by Reiatsu's iron pillar, had broken free from Bakudo, got up again, and even prepared to kill them with a knife. Kuchiki Silver Bell Bukuya Kuchiki looked at Kuchiki Ginling, who had completely hollowed and showed his ugly appearance, and there was no longer the respect and love in his eyes, only anger and hatred. In his opinion, the decline and humiliation of the Kuchiki family and the death of his father were all due to the Kuchiki Silver Bell. Total loss of mind. Son first, then grandson. Don't you recognize them all? Lan Yan frowned slightly, spread his fingers, and turned his palms upward. Bakudo 79 Nine Obsidian Binding Before Kuchiki Silver Bell could attack with a knife, the nine Reiatsu Black Balls had already taken the lead and crushed him to the ground. Lan Yan, can I ask you something more? Yukuya Kuchiki took a deep look at Kuchiki Silverling, then turned to look at Lan Yan, his tone of voice was both respectful and somewhat pleading. Apparently, after this battle, Lan Yan completely replaced Kuchiki Silver Bell's previous position in his heart, even worse. Tell me, Lan Yan saw all the changes in Bukuya Kuchiki's eyes and felt enlightened in his heart. Please, please kill Kuchiki Ginling for me. Bukuya Kuchiki requested word by word in a calm but solemn tone. Kill Kuchiki Ginling, Bukuya, are you sure? He is the leader of the Kuchiki clan. In Seoul society, only Central 46 can judge his guilt. If you are worried that he will not die, then you can rest assured that the hollow experiment is a taboo of the Serai Facing Bukuya Kuchiki's request, Lan Yan looked surprised, but his eyes under the framed mirror were unwavering. Kuchiki Silver Bell could finally help him, and it had already been done. For example, destroying the Kuchiki family with your own hands. For example, start the Kuchiki family's hollow feast with one hand. For example, giving his grandson, Yukuya Kuchiki, a sharp blade to him for him to use. What Kuchiki Ginling has to do now is to shoulder everything and exit completely. It brings a perfect ending to the Shang Rebellion, the Hollow Experiment, and the Kuchiki Genocide. This was also the exit method he had planned for Kuchiki Ginling from the beginning. Chief of the Kuchiki Clan. He didn't deserve it, and he doesn't deserve it anymore. As for Central 46, Bukuya Kuchiki said in a deep voice. After experiencing the Hollow Feast, he lost a bit of his usual impatience, impulsivity, and irritability, and instead became a bit more calm and calm like Richie Dubai. The Shang Rebellion, the prison robbery, and even the disaster of the Kuchiki family, these things taught me the truth that letting the unforgivable people continue to live, even if they breathe one more breath of Soul Society's air, is a danger to Serai T. Quote, I don't want and won't allow the little glory left of the Kuchiki family to be tarnished by such people. This man, Every second he lives, is a humiliation and trampling on the Kuchiki family. Lan Yan, I know this will be difficult for you. If possible, I would like to do it myself. However, due to the gap in strength and Senban Sakura being hypnosis, even if you help me control the Kuchiki Silver Bell, I can't do it myself. Finish him. After being given eye drops by Lan Yan, the seeds of hatred towards Central 46 were planted. How could Bukuya Kuchiki hand over the Kuchiki Silver Bell to Central 46 for trial? If he was sentenced to a blood burial or imprisoned in, Wu Jian, like Shang, how could he explain to the dead Kuchiki Aochen? Just in case, what about another incident similar to Shang He's prison break? He would never allow this to happen, not even the slightest possibility. Boom, Bukuya Kuchiki knelt down on one knee to Lan Yan again. The first time was out of gratitude and shame. The second time was out of pleading and hope. Okay, I promise you. Faced with Bukuya Kuchiki's kneeling plea, Lan Yan pondered for a moment and nodded. 
Many thanks. When Bukuya Kuchiki heard this, his gratitude to Lan Yan almost reached his bones. He knew very well how much risk the other party would take if he agreed to it. To put it bluntly, before Central 46 makes a ruling, even if Kuchiki Yinling is completely hollowed, he will still be the patriarch of the Kuchiki family. Killing the Kuchiki Silver Bell is, in a sense, equivalent to killing a clan leader who is the head of the Four Nobles. But what about Lan Yan? Still agreed. It doesn't matter. After all, it is Shinigami who single-handedly pushed the Kuchiki family to the top of the nobility, and he is also the captain of the Gote Sixth Division. Even if you fall into the void, it cannot change this fact. Lan Yan shook his head, and then walked towards the bound Kuchiki Silver Bell. Just let me finish it for you with my own hands. Finished. He put his hand on Kuchiki Yinling's hollow mask. Hado's 91 hyphenation point Senju Jiao Tian Tai Cannon. When Bukuya Kuchiki on the side heard Lan Yan give up chanting and use Hado number 91, although he was full of anger and hatred, he still immediately raised his head and looked at him with a face full of shock. Waves of brilliant pink light suddenly bloomed, illuminating the ruins of the Kuchiki mansion. At the same time, ten pink light cones appeared around Lan Yan, each one filled with Ultimate's terrifying Reiatsu density, exuding a terrifying aura of destruction. Hado No. 91 can actually give up chanting. He has not yet liberated Zanpakuto. Moreover, the form of Senju Jaoshin Taipao is very close to complete chanting. Just when Bukuya Kuchiki was moved by Lan Yan's Kido achievements, what happened next shocked him even more. Fifth level, with Lan Yan as the center, one, two, three, there were a total of 40 more pink Reiatsu light cones, like stars holding the moon, surrounding him, blooming dazzling light, it once illuminated the extremely dark Seraiti night sky. What? Bukuya Kuchiki's eyes widened, and he even stood up from the ground in extreme shock. Hado in number 91. Give up singing. Five layers in a flash. What a keto achievement. How many Kakenishi Reiatsu does this take? Looking at Lan Yan's back, a thought came to his mind involuntarily. Even if it takes a lifetime to catch up, it will be difficult to catch up. Yes, after losing to Lan Yan at the Spiritual Arts Academy, he had been practicing hard in order to avenge his shame one day, but the scene in front of him made Bukuya Kuchiki understand what it meant to be an insurmountable peak in his life. Hado on this scale, 90 and above. No, this is Captain Lan Yan's Reiatsu. Bukuya Kuchiki was not the only one shocked. The Gote captains such as Odoribashi Rojuro and Muguruma Kensai, who were rushing towards the Kuchiki residence, were still some distance away from the Kuchiki residence, but they could already clearly feel how terrifying the Reiatsu was. Far surpassing almost all Gote captains present. Thinking of this, many of them directly liberated Zanpakuto, and with the help of Reiatsu's improvement, Shunpo's speed surged. The other side, Lan Yan raised his hand and used Hado's 91 Senju Bright Sky Cannon, and it was the fifth level. He did not release it immediately, but looked back at Bukuya Kuchiki, as if giving the opponent a last chance to choose. Please, Lan Yan. Bukuya Kuchiki met Lan Yan's gaze and nodded resolutely. Goodbye, Kuchiki Silver Bell. Lan Yan turned around and looked at Kuchiki Yinling for a moment. The corners of his lips raised slightly. His eyes under his glasses were like ancient wells, extremely deep and cold. Then he released his right hand that held Kuchiki Yinling's mask. This was his response to the Kuchiki Silver Bell. A gift in return for that night's attack on Spiritual Arts Academy. Boo hoo hoo. As Lan Yan let go, the 50 Reiatsu light cones around him seemed to have received an order, swarming up like a torrent, dragging the terrifying density of Reiatsu, scrambling to bombard Kuchiki Yinling's body. Boom! When the first Reiatsu light cone hit Kuchiki Ginling like an angry dragon, it immediately blasted him from the Kuchiki mansion into the night of Seraiti. The 49 Reiatsu light cones that followed were also unwilling to accept it. Showing weakness, he surrounded him heavily in midair. Boom! With a thunderous roar that shook the entire Seraiti, the five layer Senju Kaden Tai cannon exploded together, turning into a huge cross Reiatsu beam of light drowning the figure of Kuchiki Ginling, and then venting and tearing continuously. Night Reiatsu Storm 10. Click. Number 91 Hado is so powerful. Under the continuous torrent of Reiatsu, Seraiti's night was finally overwhelmed. First, the night was expelled and turned into a pink world. 
Then, the core of the explosion of the Senju Kyoden Tai Cannon showed distortion and fragmentation visible to the naked eye. Lan Yan's attack. The fifth level Senju Jingtian Tai blast blasted open the night sky of Serai Ti, seeming to break through all obstacles and knock down the Soul King Palace that stood on the top of the Soul Society and was located in a higher dimension. Lan Yan, are you still late? If I read correctly, that should be Captain Silver Bell. Although it's completely hollow, you can still recognize it at a glance. At this time, the Shinigami led by Yunohana Yasunryu and Kiraku Shunsui had just arrived belatedly. Just, they also saw the image of the 290 wooden silver bell being submerged in the Soul Society sky by Lan Yan's Hado. This scene made all Gote captains and vice captains present feel numb. Not only was he moved by Lan Yan's earth-shattering Kido achievements, but he was also shocked by the other party's move of blasting the patriarch of the Kuchiki family into the sky and smashing it to pieces. Captain Lan Yan, you are impulsive. Hiraku Shunsui looked up at the sky, until the cross Reiatsu light column entrenched in the sky dissipated, and the Reiatsu with the Kuchiki silver bell also disappeared from the sky of Soul Society. Only then did he look back, and then looked at Lan Yan, sighing softly. There was no blame in his tone, but more of concern. As a superior noble, he is very aware of the taboos of the upper class of soul society, the so-called aristocratic circle. Killing the leader of a noble family without the permission of the Central 46 trial, even if the other party is completely hollowed in full view of the public, is still a taboo. After all, in the eyes of many Shinigami nobles, Lan Yan can kill the Kuchiki clan leader today, and he can naturally kill them, who are also nobles, tomorrow. Everything has nothing to do with Captain Lan Yan. This is my personal wish and my request. Also, Kuchiki Yinling is no longer the leader of the Kuchiki clan, and he is no longer worthy of the Kuchiki surname. He is the eternal sinner of the Kuchiki family. Isn't it natural to execute a sinner who wants to push the Kuchiki family to a place of eternal destruction? Captain of the Kyoband, before Lan Yan could speak, Yukuya Kuchiki had already walked over. He suppressed the pain and resentment that Kuchiki Yinling died in front of him, and told every word what had just happened in the Kuchiki mansion. Hollow Feast Habiki and Hiroko Shinji invade the Kuchiki family. Kuchiki Sojun died on the spot, and he died tragically at the hands of Kuchiki Yinling, who was completely hollow. Almost all of the Kuchiki family's Shinigami minions are hollowed. Listening to Byakuya Kuchiki telling the shocking things one after another, even Kiraku Shunsui, who has a thousand-year captaincy and is trained as the next Gotei captain, felt his scalp numb. Not to mention other Shinigami. Otoribashi Rojiro, Muguruma Kensai and others who were friends with Hiroko Shinji all felt their hands and feet as cold as if they had fallen into an ice cave. If it were normal times, they would definitely stand up to defend Hiroko Shinji because of his words. But what just happened in the Confession Palace, coupled with the tragic situation of the Kuchiki family in front of them, and Bukuya Kuchiki, the only survivor, as the only witness who witnessed the whole process, and Meino's Grande Reiatsu who remained in the air and has not completely dissipated. Regardless of whether it is a witness or a physical evidence, all points to Hiroko Shinji and Hibikiwa. Not to mention that on the way here, they all witnessed Kuchiki Ginling's completely hollow posture. Of course, there is also the head of Hiroko Shinji that rolls to the side and is very dazzling. Why, Hiroku Shunsui saw the resentment in Bukuya Kuchiki's eyes and tone, and didn't know what to say for a moment. Captain of the Beijing Orchestra, it would be great if I could be more impulsive as you said. If I hadn't wasted my time in Central 46, watching those sages and judges having meaningless arguments, I would have been more impulsive. Regardless of their orders, regardless of their arguments, if they chose to rush to the Confession Palace or the Kuchiki Mansion as soon as possible, this tragedy might not have happened, and even if it did, it would not have evolved to this point. Lan Yan caught Kiraku Shunsui's gaze and openly expressed his dissatisfaction with Central 46 in front of the Gotei captain and vice captain present. I'm just not impulsive enough. I just chose to abide by the laws of Central 46. I just choose to act according to Soul Society's rules. As he spoke, he opened his hands and spun around in a circle under the awe-inspiring eyes of everyone. Let's see. As you can see, things that shouldn't have happened happened, tragedies that shouldn't have happened happened, tragedies that shouldn't have happened have happened. Lan Yan shook his head, his tone revealing a bit of indignation. 
Yakuya Kuchiki next to him listened to the news, and although he didn't say a word, the seed of hatred for Central 46 that had just been planted by Lan Yan personally in his heart began to take root and sprout as if it had received the nutrients of a superstar. Captain Lan Yan, please be careful what you say. Hiraku Shunsui reminds me, there are many people here with mixed opinions, and it will inevitably reach the ears of the sages and judges of Central 46. There's no need for that. Lan Yan looked at Kiraku Shunsui, and then under the shocked and astonished eyes of all the Shinigami, he reached out and grabbed the Captain Howry who was draped on his body, pulled it off, and then threw it at Kuchiki. Kang Jun was killed by the Kuchiki Silver Bell. On the ground, on that piece of rock rising from the ground. Captain Gote, it is your duty to uphold and enforce the rules of Soul Society. This is true in every word and deed. I did it. It's just that the rule may not have disappointed me, but the person holding the rule has disappointed me deeply. Sister Wa, Chunshui, help me bring a message to the principal. Captain of the 5th Division, I am resigning. Let him hire Gao Ming instead. The words just fell. Under the odd eyes of all the Shinigami, he walked away and disappeared into the night. Team leader, he killed the criminal Hiroko Shinji, saved the Kuchiki family, and saved the building from collapse. Why are you still not happy at all? After watching Lan Yan leave, Eyes Naneo hesitated and couldn't help but ask. Little Naneo, Lan Yan, he is Serite's hero. But, Hiroku Shunsui sighed softly, met Eyes Naneo's clear and clear eyes, and wanted to say something, but found that he couldn't. His identity, whether it was the heir to the Gote captain or the head of the Kyuryu family, they all restricted what he said in his heart. Central 46 has no room for him. You know Hana Yasunryu said what Kiraku Shunsui wanted to say but didn't dare to say. Captain you know Hana. All the Shinigami looked over one after another, with astonishment written on their faces. However, you know Hana Yakuru didn't say anything else, and ignored the complicated looks of the Shinigami, and turned around and left. It seemed that she felt disgusted by continuing to stay in this place. Shang Prison Escape Former captain of Division 5, Hiroko Shinji, rebelled. The Shinigami nobles headed by Kuchiki Ginling and Hibikiga conduct the hollow experiment. The Kuchiki family, the head of the nobility, was completely hollowed out by the Kuchiki silver bell overnight, and was massacred until Bukuya Kuchiki was the only one left. Overnight, things seemed to have changed in Saraiti. Shocking news spread like a storm one after another. In the past hundreds or thousands of years, such news would rarely appear even once in hundreds of years. But last night, it seemed that half of them had gathered together, like bamboo shoots after a rain, all popping up. Everything is like a nuclear bomb dropped in Saraiti, causing huge turmoil. Of course, there are bad things and there are good things. For example, last night, I single-handedly saved Kuchiki from danger and the building was about to collapse. Captain of the 5th Division, Ian Sosuke, after learning everything, Gote 13's Shinigami felt extremely weird and ironic. The former captain of the 5th Division, Hiroko Shinji, is one of the sources of evil. The current captain of the 5th Division, Lan Yan Sosuke is a representative of justice. The former launched a prison robbery, hollow, to attack the Kuchiki family. The latter stayed calm in the face of danger and set up a plan to deal with it. After reporting to Central 46 to no avail, he did not hesitate to disobey Central 46's order and kill the culprit Hiroko Shinji, kill the completely hollow Kuchiki Ginling, scare off Shang, and save the Kuchiki family, of orphans. The two captains of the 5th Division were both in the same position, but their actions were completely different. With Hiroko Shinji as the foil, Lan Yan's reputation in Gote 13 has risen steadily, reaching an unprecedented height. Certainly, this is Gote 13, available on the other side. The Circle of Nobles, for example, in the eyes of Central 46 sages and judges, their views on Lan Yan are completely different. Disobedience and disrespect, blatantly questioning Central 46 afterwards. Abandoned Captain Howry, completely different from the slow and slow handling of the Shang and Hiroko Shinji cases, the speed at which Lan Yan's crimes were uncovered and judged was astonishingly fast. However, as soon as this verdict came out of Central 46, he was blocked back by an old figure with a crutch in his hand and a stooped figure. Captain Gote, Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni. Behind him were Bukuya Kuchiki who took over as clan leader, 
Shihuan's young clan leader Shihuan Yoruichi, and the next Gotei captain Kiraku Shunsui. After several people walked into Central 46, no one knew what they talked about or what happened. The only thing that can be known is that the judgment against Lan Yan was finally issued. However, the verdict was to fine the captain of the 5th Division, Lan Yan Sosuke, half a year's salary. Central 46's orders are above all else. Once given, they cannot be overturned, nor can the Gotei captain have any objections. This is the rule set by Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni thousands of years ago, together with the first generation Gotei captain and many Shinigami nobles. He did not overturn or object. But how to punish? He has the final say, how to reward? He also has the final say. The office of the first team captain. Boom, Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni slapped a piece of paper with a resignation application on his desk and looked straight at Aizen in front of him with majestic eyes. Aizen Sosuke, you have been in the first team for a while, so you should be aware that Gote 13 only has the term, leave the team, and there is no such thing as retirement. Do you think it's unfair for me to fine your brother half a year's salary without any reward, so you're joining in the fun? Yamamoto Genryusai Shigekuni cursed fiercely, but no Reiatsu appeared on his body. Instead, he reached out and tore up Aizen's resignation application. Aizen did not speak but took out another resignation application from his arms and presented it to his desk. Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni's eyes widened slightly, as if he didn't expect that Aizen, who had always behaved elegantly and obeyed his orders, would actually protest like this, which made him angry and funny. But immediately, he couldn't laugh anymore. This is Captain Lan Yan's resignation application. He asked me to send it to him. Aizen did not call him brother, but his business-like address gave Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni an even bigger headache. If it were another vice-captain, he would have shot it out with his backhand. Dot, one charge of leaving the job without permission was deducted. After all, even the Gote captain would not dare to do such a thing in front of him. However, these brothers gave him a headache. Fight, reluctant to give up. Scolding, no reason. The penalty has been passed. The most important thing is to put aside the fact that he is disrespectful to Central 46. As the captain, even he feels that Lan Yan has done a remarkable job in this operation. It does not go beyond the rules of soul society set by him, and it does not lose its flexibility. No matter what, with a good hand, he was beaten to pieces by the people of Central 46, and almost caused the entire Kuchiki family to be exterminated. In the end, although he left without respecting the order, he saved Byakuya Kuchiki, killed Hiroko Shinji and Kuchiki Ginling, and only lost the Sinner Habiki River. How could Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni not like such a captain of the Gote who not only takes Soul Society's responsibilities at heart but also has a righteous heart, and is also the strongest genius in Seraiti for thousands of years? As I said just now, Gote 13 can only leave the team, but not leave the team. Quote, quote, the vice captain is like this, and the Gote captain is like this too. There's no need to talk about this matter. Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni grabbed Lan Yan's resignation application, and this time he didn't tear it up, but burned it completely. Captain Lan Yan will be with Captain Kyoto, Captain Yunohana, and Captain Ishin in the afternoon. After they have dinner, they will leave Serai Tea. Aizen reports truthfully. What does Lan Yan Sosuke mean? Also, why did you even invite some vice captains but not me? When Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni heard this, he raised his eyebrows and immediately felt unhappy. On the invitation list for this dinner, in addition to Yunohana Yakiru, Shiba Ishin, and two of his own students, Kiraku Shunsui and Jashiro Yukitaki, many Gotei vice captains were invited, but there was only one missing his name as the Gotei commander in chief. How? In the eyes of you two brothers, I am just an old fool who cannot distinguish between right and wrong. So everyone is rushing to leave Gotei 13, right? Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni glanced at Aizen, snorted coldly, then opened the drawer and took out a top-secret envelope from Central 46. This is for your brother. But he is probably still angry now. Even if I asked him to come over, he would not come over. Let you, my younger brother, read it for him. Anyway, in a day or two, the contents will be notified to Gote 13. Finished. He handed the envelope in his hand to Aizen. This is. After Aizen took it, 
he opened it and saw a mixture of surprise, joy, and a bit of disbelief on his face. Every word written on it is related to Lan Shang. But this time it's no longer a punishment, but a reward. In view of the meritorious service of Captain Gote of the 5th Division, Lan Yan Sosuke is specially awarded. Intermediate Noble Status, Shinigami Hero Name. Any merit must be rewarded, and any wrongdoing must be punished. This is Soul Society's duty, and I must abide by it. Lan Yan did not respect the order of Central 46, acted without permission, and uttered disrespectful words afterwards. This is true, so he was fined half a year's salary. It is reasonable and I think it should be so. Yamamoto Genryusai Shigekuni saw Aizen's micro-expressions and smiled in his heart. Protest. Leave the team. Even with your small means of protest, I will crush you to death. You deserve to be punished, but as I said just now, merit will be rewarded. Lan Yan was the first to notice that Hiroko Shinji and Kuchiki Ginling were conducting hollow experiments. He secretly planned for this and tried to catch all the criminals. He even killed Hiroko Shinji and Kuchiki Ginling, saving the Kuchiki family. Everything he did, individually, was a great achievement and a tribute to Saraiti. This is an indelible fact. Yamamoto Genryusai Shigekuni is very satisfied with Aizen's current expression. After all, he originally felt that Lan Yan was doing the right thing, and even if he changed places, he had no confidence that he could do better than Lan Yan. It's just that assigning responsibility means assigning responsibility. If it can be easily violated, then it is not called liability. Therefore, those who deserve punishment must be punished, but after the punishment is over, it is time to love. The status granted to mid-level nobles. Be called a Shinigami hero. This is recognition and reward for his penultimate contribution in the hollow incident. Yamamoto Genryusai's Mandarin language is amazing. Teacher Yuan Lujai, please forgive the student's mistake. The approval process and method of Room 46 are extremely rigid. It has always given people the impression that it has its own way of doing things, is impersonal, and does not allow anyone to raise objections. Why should this time be different? Aizen put down the envelope in his hand. Now you know that your name is Teacher Yuan Lujai. Yamamoto Genryusai Shigekuni did not answer, but looked at Aizen with a half-smile. Because of Central 46's punishment of Lan Yan, I, as a disciple, have not called him teacher for half a month. His Excellency, the Captain, who was always business-like and emotionless, made him feel uncomfortable for half a month. Sorry, Teacher Yuan Lujai, I just misremembered and missed a name. Actually, Captain Lan Yan also has a dinner for you. Aizen understood. Ha, huh, are you still going to have dinner together? This meal is ready to eat. As for Central 46, I will tell you everything today. What your brother said at that time actually won my heart. When such a thing happened, he still did not question Soul Society's determination of responsibility, but questioned the control and determination of responsibility. People. Yamamoto Genryusai Shigekuni saw that there was no one around, and this was the meeting hall of the first team, and Aizen was his favorite disciple, so he decided to tell the truth. I'm very happy that he can think so. It proves that he was right. So, I decided to make an exception for him. Go to the 46th room of Junyang and talk to a group of sages and judges. When talking about Lan Yan, Yamamoto Genryusai Shigekuni's tone showed a bit of relief. He was not afraid that Lan Yan would be ruined, but he was afraid that Lan Yan would question Seoul Society's determination of responsibility and become rebellious. Fortunately, things turned out for the best. Sages and judges, are they willing to listen to your reasoning, teacher? Didn't it mean that even the Gote commander-in-chief is not allowed to have any objections to the decisions of Central 46? Aizen pretended to be surprised. Central 46 does not allow the Gote captain to have any objections. Why do you want to send me Yamamoto Genryusai Shigekuni? Yamamoto Genryusai Shigekuni said expressionlessly. Say it. He did not forget to glance at the Zanpakudo that looked like a crutch in his hand, but was actually Ryujin Jaka. Students understand. Aizen understood the other party's little action when he saw it. There are two different things between not having Ryujin Jaka in hand and having Ryujin Jaka without using it. Central 46 If you are willing to listen to reason, then Yamamoto Genryusai Shigekuni will talk about reason. If you are not willing to listen to reason, then talk about Ryujin Jaka. If you still don't listen, 
let's talk about the residual fire sword again. After all, this kind of thing is determined by Yamamoto Genryusai Shigekuni himself. He will do his best to maintain it and will not break the rules easily, but it does not mean that he does not have the ability to break the rules. Snapped. Yamamoto Genryusai Shigekuni stood up from the chair with a cane. Teacher Yuanlujai, where are you going? Aizen retracted his thoughts. Eat, didn't you just say that? I am also on the invitation list. Yamamoto Genryusai Shigekuni's tone showed the slightest trace of amusement. Apparently, eating is a holiday. He simply wanted to go over and appreciate the wonderful change in Lan Yan's expression after he learned that he had become a Shinigami hero. No way. These days, he has been teased by these two brothers too many times. Is Soul Society responsible? I see. Just use Zanpakudo to cut it off. Looking at the back of Yamamoto Genryusai Shigekuni, Aizen lowered his head slightly and followed quickly, while a cold look flashed across his eyes under the framed mirror. Central 46 are you qualified to judge my brother? As early as when Central 46 handed down the first judgment, he was already imagining a new script in his mind. Now he has already thought about it and clearly arranged every ten judgment points for every sage in it. As Yamamoto Genryusai Shigekuni said, Gote 13 will be notified about Lan Yan's award in the near future. However, the method of notification is not a paper notice but a summons. Three days later, Hundreds of Shinigami gathered at the front gate of the 1st Division. The 1st platoon headed by them were all Gote captains, a total of 11 people. Following closely behind were the 2nd row, the Gote vice captain, all present. The hundreds of Shinigami standing behind the Gote captain and vice captain are not team members, but all the chief officers from Gote 13. The gathering of all captains, vice captains, and chief officials was so solemn that it has rarely happened in hundreds of years. Backquote everyone, this time I summoned you to come as a team just to report one thing. I think you have heard a little bit about the Palace of Confession and the series of bad events in the Mew family in the past few days. Yamamoto Genryusai Shigekuni stood on the high platform of the first team's attic and looked around at the Gote captain, vice captain and chief officer below. The sinner Habiki, the sinner Hiroko Shinji, and the sinner Kuchiki Ginzu, all committed the unforgivable heinous crime and brought great shame to Gote 13. However, there was also a Gote captain in this incident. He single-handedly killed the criminal Kuchiki Silver Bell and the criminal Hiroko Shinji, scared off Shang, and saved the Kuchiki family. Although his words are extreme, his achievements cannot be denied. He is the captain of the 5th Division, Lan Yan Sosuke. As he spoke, he looked at Lan Yan Sosuke, who was walking towards him not far away. Unlike other Gote captains, he was dressed in a black death uniform without Captain Yori. This scene also made Yamamoto Genryusai Shigekuni, who likes to dig into details, uncomfortable and uncomfortable to watch. However, the award ceremony had begun, so I could only endure my discomfort and continue in the afternoon. Gote 13 Public Praise I thought that after Central 46 handed down the verdict, the captain would let this matter end there. Central 46's decision cannot be disputed, but team awards are still acceptable. Even the commander-in-chief can only do this, otherwise, other Shinigami will be disappointed. Some officials who didn't know the inside story thought secretly in their hearts. Although it was a praise from the team, many people still felt that Seraiti was unfair and still felt sorry for Lan Yan. He was obviously a hero who turned the tide, but what he received was not a reward, but a trial. Even though they were fined for half a year's salary in the end, it still made them, the grassroots Shinigami, feel chilled and conflicted. As strong as Lan Yan, he still received such unfair treatment just because of his Rukongai background. What if it were them? At this moment, they were increasingly dissatisfied with Central 46, but they dared not speak out. In view of Captain Lan Yan's contribution to Seoul society, I decided to grant him the status of an intermediate noble and the title of Shinigami hero. Yamamoto Genryusai Shigekuni looked down at the audience, seeming to be aware of the thoughts of the Shinigami chiefs, and then made an astonishing announcement word by word. What, isn't it just a verbal praise from the team and a gentle punishment? How come you were promoted even with the status of a noble? A few days ago, I was fined half a year's salary and today I was promoted to mid-level noble. The extraordinary promotion of noble status requires the approval of Central 46. 
and the title of Shinigami Hiro, which is a lofty honor that Seraiti has never had in thousands of years. Except for the Gote captain and deputy captains who had already learned the inside story at the dinner, the other Shinigami couldn't help but burst into an uproar when they learned about Lan Yan's reward. They all thought that Lan Yan's achievements had been hidden and not recognized. Unexpectedly, within a few days, he would transform into a middle-class noble and obtain the title of Shinigami hero. This situation has never happened before since the founding of Serai T. However, after being briefly stunned, all the Shinigami present smiled, feeling happy from the bottom of their hearts that Lan Yan could win this honor. No way. Although Lan Yan rose to the top in one fell swoop and became the captain of the Gote after graduating, he rarely had contact with lower-level Shinigami. However, due to his astonishing promotion speed, unparalleled strength and proud achievements, he became the Shinigami who came from Rukongai to imitate and pursue, object of worship. In addition, he also has a younger brother who is often active at the grassroots level. Aizen Sosuke to describe it in one sentence, it is the Shinigami version of Timely Rain. Anyone in need of help will receive his generous help as long as he turns to Aizen. This also indirectly led to the fact that Lan Yan, who had little contact with ordinary players and Shinigami chiefs, received unanimous praise from every Shinigami level including captain, vice-captain, chief, and ordinary members of Gotei 13. Lan Yan's Strength and Achievements Aizen's Character and Reputation Shinigami who was born in Rukongai, seemed to see hope. Even if he is not born into a noble family, he can still catch up to the top of Seraiti step by step. Headmaster, when Lan Yan walked up to Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni, he still called him a unique person. Are you going to face me like this? Where's Captain Howry? Don't tell me, you really threw it away. Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni glanced at Lan Yan's dazzling death-defying outfit. He is a perfectionist who cares about details, but he is still worried about it. There is no way, Captain Yuji designed it all by himself. Captain Lan Yan. At this time, a voice came from behind the crowd. When everyone looked back, few could recognize the person's name, but through the appearance, clothing, and the iconic scarf called Silver White Wind Flower Gauze, which symbolized the heir of the Kuchiki family, people could see it at a glance. Then he recognized Bukuya Kuchiki's identity. Although the four nobles no longer have Kuchiki, their background is still there. In addition, Yukuya Kuchiki and Lan Yan are classmates, and they still have a certain status in the circle of Shinigami nobles. Your Excellency, Captain, Captains, forgive me for being rude Yukuya. Yukuya Kuchiki first abided by etiquette and bowed to Captain Gote, apologizing for breaking into the first team and disrupting the award ceremony. Then he quickly walked up to the loft of the first team, holding a captain feather in both hands. Weaving, all the way to Lan Yan. Captain Lan Yan. This is the Captain Yori you left behind. In my opinion ADFH only you are worthy of it. Finished. Yukuya Kuchiki leaned over, raised his hands high, and held the Captain Yori in front of Lan Yan. His words and deeds showed his sincerity. Sorry to trouble you, Kuchiki-san. Lan Yan chuckled, and then took the Captain Yori's hand from Yukuya Kuchiki. Under the gaze of hundreds of Shinigami with awe, admiration, and praise, and with loud applause that seemed to be overwhelming, he reassembled this previously the Captain Howry, who was abandoned by him at the Kuchiki mansion, was draped over his body. Captain Yuji, how can you tolerate childishness? You must never abandon it casually in the future. Captain Lan Yan After Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni Lan Yan put on the Captain Howry's design again, she found it pleasing to the eye no matter how much she looked at it, and a small smile appeared on her originally expressionless face. Of course, you still have to spray what needs to be sprayed. Otherwise, everyone would follow Lan Yan's example and throw the Captain Howry away at every turn. He would have the strength, but he, the captain of the Gote, would not be good at leading a team. I understand, Principal. Lan Yan took a few steps back without leaving a trace to avoid Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni's saliva from hitting his face. As the captain of the 5th Division, it's time for you to appoint a Shinigami as your vice captain. You can't do everything yourself. You have to personally take care of every little thing. Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni couldn't help but remind him when he saw that there was no one behind Lan Yan. Unlike other Gote captains, who all had a deputy captain following him. It's time to find a vice captain. 
After hearing this, Lan Yan pondered for a moment, then smiled and nodded. Vice Captain, it was time to make an appointment, but he had no intention of choosing a Vice Captain in Division 5 or Gote 13. Nothing else. Although this Gote Captain produced many legendary Shinigami, he also produced many Crouching Dragon and Phoenix Chicks. For example, Reiatsu Unit of Measurement, Muguruma Kensai. For example, Shikai fights bosses, Bankai clears out miscellaneous soldiers, and Hiroko Shinji. Such as the battlefield commentator, Otoribashi Rojuro. Etc., etc. Under the leadership of such a Gote captain, it would be a dream to expect to select a Shinigami who can take on the role of deputy captain in Gote 13. Don't be too harsh, you can't ask every Shinigami to be as good as your brother. You just need to be able to fulfill the role of vice captain. Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni seemed to be aware that he had led so many Gote captains and squadron officers, so this time he lowered the standards for the appointment of Amos captain a little bit. Principal, I disagree with you. Soul Society still has many talents. Lan Yan shook his head and said profoundly. Yes. It is true that the captains, vice captains, and chief officers of this generation generally have crotch lifts, but this does not hinder the fact that Soul Society is indeed full of talented people. Only not in Gote 13, let alone among the nobles, but gathered in one place. Infinitely. Maggot's Nest. In Rukongai. Three places, two are prisons and one is outside Serai T. In one sentence, it's just that Wolong is in the squad, the master is in prison, and the genius is wandering. With Lan Yan returning to Captain Howry, being awarded the title of Shinigami hero by Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni, and the award ceremony ending, the hollow incident that shocked Serai T also came to an end. Let's go. Why don't you go see Hiroko? That's fine. Just think of it as bringing an end to this matter. After leaving the first team, Muguruma Kensai, Otoribashi Rojuro and other Gote captains and vice captains who were friends with Hiroko Shinji on weekdays looked at each other and talked while walking. After walking through the streets and numerous buildings and leaving Serai T, the group finally stopped in front of an inconspicuous tomb in the third district of Rukongai. As a former Gote captain, even if he is deposed, he is still a Shinigami. Originally, after dying in the line of duty, one could be buried in Serai T. For future generations Shinigami will not remember. However, due to the hollow experiment and the genocide of the Kuchiki family, Hiroko Shinji was directly deprived of his Shinigami identity. Even after his death, the only preserved head was not allowed to be buried in Serai T. In desperation, they could only bury Hiroko Shinji, who died with only his head left, near the former residence where he lived before he became Shinigami. Hiroko, I really didn't expect you to start such a big event without saying a word. Muguruma Kensai stood in front of Hiroko Shinji's grave, put his hand on the tombstone, and his tone revealed regret and sadness. Speaking of this, it's our fault. If we had been more decisive and tied Hiroko to the 4th Division with strong force, and let Captain Yunohana check his spirit, there might be a chance to save him. Love Aikawa shook his head and said regretfully while burning paper to worship Hiroko Shinji. He had already registered a psychiatric appointment with Hiroko Shinji in the 4th Division, but the other party insisted that he was not sick and it was impossible for him to receive treatment. No, it's my fault. I'm his vice captain. I should keep an eye on this idiot and stop him from messing around. If I had stopped him when he went to the Spiritual Arts Academy, or notified you, instead of helping him distract Shiba and let him have a grudge against the Lan Yan brothers, he would have ended up where he is today. Surugaki Hiori sighed, his reddish eyes a little moist. Losing to Lan Yan, I didn't expect the blow to be so severe. It completely distorted his whole body. Hollow, genocide, he he he, this guy is really messing around. Odoribashi Rojuro shook his head. Hiroko, when we come here this time, besides worshipping, we actually have one more thing we want to talk to you about. Perhaps, you have a soul in hell, and you will find it unpleasant to know but all of us have really investigated it many times, and whether it is Lan Yan or Aizen, there is no problem with them. We can't find any evidence for your suspicions about brother Lan Yan, not even a motive. Instead, we found out that Lan Yan and Aizen spared you time and time again, and didn't care about you time and time again. I will put in a good word for you in front of the captain and try to restore you to your position as captain of the Gote. What about you? 
You have always been targeting Lan Yan's younger brother, but their brothers are all broad-minded people. We have also talked with Lan Yan and the others, and they do not bear any grudge against you. They also said that death is like a lamp going out. So, that's it for now, rest in peace. After Yadomaru Lisa finished speaking, she took a breath and stood up. That's it for today. Um, let's go, Hiroko, I'll see you later. After burning all the worship objects to Hiroko Shinji who was far away in hell, Muguruma Kensai, Tsurugaki Hiori and others sighed, and then slowly left with their low backs. Only the grave of Hiroko Shinji is left, sitting alone in the clearing of Rukongai. Woo woo. Sudden. A gust of cold wind blew by, picking up a few fallen leaves and branches and falling towards the tombstone. Snapped. Just when the withered yellow leaves and branches were about to hit the tombstone, a hand suddenly stretched out and slapped the fallen leaves and branches away. Then he sat down in front of Hiroko Shinji's tombstone without paying attention to the dust on the ground. How sad. You died with only one head left. Among all your friends, not even one person believes in you. Should I say that Captain Hiroko is terrible? Or should I say that Brother Lan Yan is terrible? It's so perfect that even if Lan Yan has cut off your head with his own hands, captains and vice captains such as Muguruma Kensai, Otoribashi Rojuro, Love Ekawa, etc., not only do they not blame Lan Yan, they still have faith in him, and even thank him I don't care about you, I don't hold a grudge against you. Yurahara Kazuki took off his black cloak and looked at Hiroko Shinji's tombstone with complicated eyes. The last time we met was at Spiritual Arts Academy. The next time we met, it was Soul Society in Hell. No wonder. There are obviously many close friends around me like Captain Gote and Vice Captain, but in the end you can only choose to trust me, a stranger. Bet everything on me, someone you've only met once. Yurahara Kazuki murmured. His eyes gradually became dazed, and the scene of the last meeting with Hiroko Shinji emerged in his mind. That was the third day after Shang was imprisoned. In the dormitory of Spiritual Arts Academy. How will you be here? After class, Yurahara Kazuki returned to the dormitory as usual, preparing to tinker with his invention. Unexpectedly, when he opened the dormitory door, he saw the figure of Hiroko Shinji. The first reaction when seeing the other person is resistance. After all, when Hiroko Shinji threatened Aizen, he saw it. Your tone is full of disgust and rejection of me. It's really disappointing. I thought you were as intelligent as I thought, but I never thought you were just a stupid person who couldn't even see through Brother Lan Yan's disguise. Yurahara Kazuki, it seems you are not as smart as I thought. It's in vain that I've been waiting here for you for so long, and I still have high hopes for you. Forget it, just go for a walk. As soon as Hiroko Shinji heard Yurahara Kazuki's tone, he knew that this was a guy who had been fooled by the Lan Yan brothers. He immediately lost interest in talking. He could only get up from the chair, put his hands in his pockets, and walked out of the dormitory full of disappointment. Everyone is blinded by lard. How come there are so many good people in Soul Society? As long as the whole story is reversed and those with vested interests are found out, he will be the biggest suspect. He whispered as he passed Urahara Kazuki. Why do you say that Shang is innocent and Lan Yan and Aizen are the masterminds behind this? Urahara Kazuki pondered slightly, and just when Hiroko Shinji stepped out of the dormitory door with one foot, he suddenly spoke. How smart he is. Although Hiroko Shinji didn't directly name him, he already guessed that the other party was referring to Habiki and the rebellion. On my life, Hiroko Shinji turned around, faced Urahara Kazuki, and grinned. What's the meaning? Yurahara Kazuki frowned slightly when he heard this. Although I hate the brothers Lan Yan and Aizen, it cannot be denied that they are really awesome. Whether it's Shinigami's ability, means, city, or brains, their brothers have the entire Gote 13 at their fingertips. Even if I never relax or stop, and keep staring at the two of them, I still can't find any flaws in them. I know very well that if there is no accident, I will never be able to defeat them in this life, even just once. Hiroko Shinji turned around, first praising the greatness of Brother Lan Yan, and then changed the subject. So, it requires a little surprise. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.